Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. It is Friday, July 21st, 2023, and we are live at the Hive. All right. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm excited. We have so many cool things to check out. We're going to talk about hot summer knives of 2023. <laughs> and the question is, how much are we going to talk about hot summer knives of 2023? If you're new to the channel, if this is your first time seeing this or the first time on the live stream, welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome all you Bees Blades channel members. Welcome back to the hive. And I want to give a shout out to all of our law enforcement out there. A shout out to all our veterans past, present, and future. And another shout out to all of our truckers out there. And another shout out to all our first responders. And another shout out to everybody that's in here right now. Nice and early. Kick back, take a seat, get your knives, surround yourself with some knives. You can flip and flick. And of course, don't forget the snacks. You got to have some good snacks, right? I mean, you got to have some good snacks. We always end up talking about snacks. We talk, eh, there's a little bit of adulting comes in here. You know, we make fun of adulting because this is the time not to talk about politics or any of that stuff. This is hanging out, talking about cool knives, talking about the new EDC gear that's came out and having fun. And of course, Bogart, our new puppy, he'll be down with Mrs. B's as usual. Um, well, he's been down ever since ever since he came into the hive. Our new, our new baby bee dog. Baby, yo, baby bee dog. But I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope it was a good week. But guess what? The week's over. Unless you work on the weekend, then, well, it's maybe kind of over. I work on Sunday, so I work half the weekend. Today was my first day off. So half of my weekend is done, but this is the best part when I get to hang out with all of you. And I know all kinds of stuff's going on in the chat because I can see it flying over in the corner of my peripherals. But I figured if I wanted to actually complete some thoughts that I would <laughs> look at you just for a minute to be able to get a few thoughts out. Groose Faba. You ready to talk about knives? You take, ready to be in this knife community? Let's do it. Oh, first of all, Clarence Davis, welcome to Bees Blades, Scout Bees, and hold the bus. We have our first donation. I got to get the bell out. Brian F. is getting a honey warmed up with a two doll hair donation. He said, start that honey dripping. What up, knife fam? What's up, bro ham? What's up, brosif? What up, Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm I'm so hyped. I'm just telling you that I'm very hyped right now because today I got up early, went to the dentist, and I have not sat down. I haven't even been in the living room other than to play with the puppy for a minute. And other than that, I was up in the kitchen. I was packaging packages. I was doing shipping. I was reading email. I was responding to companies. It was all bees blades. After I got my Pearly whites cleaned. It's been nothing but bees blades. Then guess what came in the mail? New Kaisers. And I was like, you know what? I've got too many things to do. Let's get that video out. So I came down, made the Kaiser video real quick. Tappity tap, 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 tap. Loaded it up. The new Kaiser video with five new Kaisers dropped tonight. If you haven't seen that video, open up another browser. Go watch the new Kaiser video. It has the new Kaiser integr integral, 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 integral. <laughs> Don't you love it? Don't you love it? What's up, everybody? So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I know you guys have been talking and saying, let's go. Whew. Ryan F said, bees, you like the hype video? If so, feel free to use it. Use it at will on Fridays. Yes, Brian. Clarence said, how do I send gift memberships to Betty Davis? Help, please. Well, you can send gift memberships, but the person has to have uh, gifts enabled where they can receive gifts. And the second thing is you can't choose who gets the membership. That's the only thing. And thank you, everyone. That Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I almost missed it. What we got up here? James Alton's been a member for two months. He said, hit the thumbs up. Thank you, James Alton. Mr. Scout B, sir. And welcome, Clarence Davis. And look at this. I love it when I see all the emojis flying from the channel. Crick Ken Faulkner's in the house. In the house. That's high, high and <laughs> I'm getting too wound up already. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Whew, yeah. <laughs> okay, take a breath. All right, so 
we're going to go to NAF sale. We always go to NAF sale. Check that out. And then I got a gift from Top Dog. I have some munchies and I might try one or two of them out. I have Turkish munchies. We'll check these out and see what that's all about. Of course, we're going to do a giveaway of two or two. Custom EDC knives said, hi, everyone. How's it going? Custom EDC. Oh, I have that knife upstairs in a box. It's packaged. Or I would get it out right now and show you. Top Dog, gifted five Bees Blades memberships. Top Dog, you, sir, are the man. And guess who got all, guess who got the memberships? Betty Davis, Danita Turner, Tyler Williams. What's up, Tyler? If your son's watching, hello, Tyler's son. I hope you're having a good night. Level One Up is, is now a Bees Blades member. <laughs> And Jason Rogers, congratulations. And thank you, Top Dog. You're the man. You are the man. And what, what is this? Robert Feely's been a member for 14 months. He said, glad to be a member of the Hive. Robert Feely, 14 months. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Are you a believer? <laughs> Ooh, look at this. I just squirreled. I'm, man, speaking of squirrel, our dog, the, the puppy, he'll he'll go running for the uh the what do you call it? The uh tennis ball and mid stride, he'll see a twig and literally turn and spin in a circle and grab the twig and then completely forget he was headed to get the ball. I could so relate. What's up, Wayne Samarjic and Robert Feely, Marco, Tyler Williams, Byron Kennedy. What's up, Byron? Hope you're having a good evening, sir. Hope those storms didn't do too bad for you. We got huge, huge, huge storms yesterday. I, and you know, I didn't check our rain gauge, but we had to have got a couple inches. You got to at least have a couple inches, right? Ollie is here. What's up, Ollie? I hope you're having a good night, man. Being good to your mom and dad. Ollie, is your dad flipping a knife? Does your dad like pocket knives? That's the question. That, sir, is the question. What's up, Gene Gray? Richard Coffin said, don't forget to spike the like. Oh, yeah. If we get to like 300 likes tonight, if every time, you know, if somebody wants to remind people, because people come and go, this is a three to four hour live stream. Don't forget when you come in to hit that thumbs up, because when you come back a little later, it could be to your advantage. And you never know when you might win something. David Tooley said, Master Bees. I don't know about that. Brian F said, Bogart has your attention span, Bees. Yes, he so does. I had to laugh. I had to laugh. He was trucking it. And by the way, this puppy is three months old. He will sit and wait for his food to be poured and will look up and wait until you say, okay. Last night, when we gave the big dog his treats, the big dog gets treats put around his feet at dinner time and then one on his nose. And Berkeley will sit until you say, okay. And then he'll eat. Guess what Bogart did last night? Three month old Bogart. Boom, treat on the nose. And then, okay, and he ate it. Yes, he's that smart. Either that or he has a really good trainer. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Um, Gregory Witt's been a member for five months. He said, hi, bees and hive. Happy to be a member for five months. Can you believe it? I mean, gosh, can you believe it? Well, golly, Sergeant. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling, feeling it tonight. I needed this. <laughs> this is a break. Whew. Yeah, last night uh, was some crazy stuff. I was doing some channel stuff, starting to package up some stuff, and then I found out that I had to work last night. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. I kept my spirits up. I stayed positive. Rickert said, hey, man, how you doing? Man, I am doing fantastic. I'm here with the hive. Matt McAllis said, hey, everyone. Can only hang out for lunch. Just had to poke my head in for a few. Well, thanks, Matt. It's always nice to see you. What's up, Malone Labe? Malone Labe NC. Craig Bunt said, saw your video on Kaiser's website under August new arrivals. Kaiser already shared my video on their website. <laughs> how, about, how about them apples? Robert Fita said, you are pumped, bees. I know it, man. I'm telling you. Aries EDC, yes, you have to stay positive. There's too many reasons to, to get unpositive. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be negative? By the way, when Mrs. B's comes down, ask her what the double negative was she was asking me last night. Because she said, if you not, not, not something. And I was like, 
I don't know. I don't know if it was an intelligence test or if it was a real question. Betty Davis said, I've been a member for a month, bees. Betty Davis. Been a member for a month. Jay said, he's so fluffy. Bogart, too. Casey said, good evening, bees. What kind of work do you do? I work in the, I work for the public. And that's about all I talk about my job. Public service. Double detent. Thank you for reminding me to blink. I put new contacts in tonight. I wanted it to be a good show. But I still have to blink. You know, blinking is advantageous. I think you're meant to do it or something. Tyler Williams said, I'm going to have to come up with an excuse to buy another knife. Oh, I can think of a bajillion. Baby girl said, I love that knife. Bees got to have it. Yeah. I just happened to be the one that was laying here. I, I mean, I have knives all over the place, but it's kind of dark. There we go. That's a little better. But this thing, I don't know. There's just something about the looks of it. You're going to like the way you look. Craig Bunt said, I bet I know what you do for work, Bubba. Well, I don't want to talk about it. Brian F. said, bees, what is that caramba you're, caramba you're flicking? This is the, uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is, somebody help me out. What's it called? It's the Civivi, I forget. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it just slipped. It just totally slipped my mind. Robert Feely said, I'm wor- waiting on a Heiser, Heiser hiccup I bought from someone online. Very nice. Custom EDC knives. Hold on. I got to get over here to the comment section. Try to put this stuff up. Uh-huh. Custom EDC knives. Where'd he go? With the five doll hairs. He said, bees, can I gift you something for your channel? The Warner Tech is yours. Do whatever you want with it. Oh my goodness. Are you cereal right now? Dude, ladies and gentlemen, a big, a big hands, hands up, hats off. The custom EDC and knives show some channel love. I'm going to go get the box that I had boxed up to mail the knife back. And I'm going to do an unboxing and I'm going to take you with me with my voice. Oh my gosh. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh my goodness. As I ascend up the stairs into the upper hive. Oh my Lanta. You got to be kidding me. Um, so pre- precision knife works. I have had the loaner to return. It was just gifted to bees blades on the live. So I'm going to unbox the box that I boxed. <laughs> oh, this is some awesome sauce. I don't know what you all are saying right now. Cause I can't see the screen. I am now back into the inner sanctum, the inner hive them. Thank you. Custom EDC knives. So here's the box that I had boxed up ready to uh, send back. And you know me, I like my, uh, my post-it notes and these are full post-it notes too. Dude, you gotta be kidding. Are you kidding me right now? Wow. I think I'm going to use the, uh, gosh, what am I going to use? I'm going to use the new Kaiser brat since it's laying here to open my warn attack. Wow, I'm a, dude, I am stoked. I am so freaking stoked right now. I thank you. Thank you so much. There's the there's the new Kaiser Brat. If you want to know some stuff about it, you can go check out my video that dropped, I don't know, not even an hour ago, less than an hour ago. Go watch, go let that play. And it's an inter, integral, integral. I have trouble saying that word. Greg Bunt said, Congrats, bees. Peter Miller said, I'm kidding you right now. Right meow, right meow. Can you believe it? Craig Bunts. Yeah, thank you, man. So I'm doing a live unboxing from right there. Custom EDC knives. Hey, custom EDC knives. How many do you have left? Do you have stock still? The question is, do you have any of the black ones still? The blacked out versions are really cool. Steve Owens said it has integrity. What's up, Life on Spokes? Custom EDC, you, sir, are awesome sauce. But here's the thing. Here's a question for you. Um, I, I put a little surprise in there for you. I put a stack of Bees Blade stickers in there. Do you still want the stickers? I'll gladly send you the stickers. So, ladies and gentlemen, in, in this box are some peanuts. Get your peanuts. And look at this. A Precision Knife Works. 
And uh, okay, I have to pick these up because the puppy will eat them when he comes down. Craig said, "Could we get a link to the custom EDC black models?" Yes. Um, if a uh, what do you call those things? If a mod wouldn't mind putting the uh, a link to the website down. Custom EDC knife said, "I have three blacked out versions left." Oh, and boy, you believe you me? I'd be nabbing one of those if I was in the spot to do it. Custom EDC knives with the two doll hairs. And there you go. There's only three left. Let's see. Uh, there you go. Stacy Bolster Blades just put up a link to Precision Knife Works Warna Tech, and I'm about to show you this version. Here's the box. Here's what the box looks like right side up. Oh my goodness, the murdered out version. And look, I even put your notes. I love it when people send notes and stuff like that with uh, information because it's when, when you get a knife and there's nothing and you have to do all the research, that takes time, especially when you have 50 knives in the queue. So very, very nice. And I do save my boxes, by the way. I don't throw my boxes out. Custom EDC knife said, sure, I'd like a sticker if you wouldn't mind shipping it out. Oh, I'll, I'll mail it. I've, I've got uh, all the channel stickers, bro. So here it is. Precision Knife Works. And this is the Warn Attack. <laughs> it's a uh, feels like the first time. I didn't just do that. NFK20 said, I think I'm going to go. Dude, why are you going? Don't, don't go. Don't leave NFK20. You're part of the hive, man. Uh, T Fetch said the suspenders. <laughs> Who look at this? Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay, it hasn't sunk in yet. It really hasn't, because I mean I can really carry it now. I I very I do a careful carry on loners. And Stacy Bolster Blade is the moderator extraordinaire. Prado said no singing. <laughs> Custom EDC and knives. EDC knives with the five doll hairs said also people have the ability to semi customize the warning text on his website. Yes, the five doll hairs. Um, you can get a hologram blade. I'm telling you right now, get this bad boy, the warning text. Oh, and a hologram blade. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my Lanta. It is just so good. So good. Evening bees. What's up, Dwayne Letterman? Um, Caravan Yam said, good evening. Good evening. Where can I order bearings for a Cormorant Titanium? Go to Skiff. S-K-I-F-F. -F. Um, I don't know what size the Cormorant bearings are at the moment. I could take one apart and measure them for you. I have the little, the tool. Um, oh my gosh, things are happening fast. I like it when it happens like this. So here's the Warnatech. I'm waiting for the his comment to show. There it is. So you can semi-customize these bad boys. You can get a hollow ground blade. There's the show side. You know what? Both sides are the show side of this knife. Isn't that just crispy? Paul Johnson, welcome to Scout Bees. Everybody, welcome Paul Johnson. And no, I did not miss you. Just Nate. Just Nate's been a member for 14 months. That was 14 or 14 ish, somewhere in there. Thank you, Just Nate, for being a member of the Hive for 14 months. And by the way, if you're a channel member once a month, and I do this on channels that I'm, uh, that I'm a, a member to, that I have memberships to, you get one free like super chat a month. And if you don't know how to do that, someone in the chat will, <laughs> will tell you how you can do it. Uh, PNW fun stuff's in here tonight. Oh my goodness gracious. See, I have a case that I put fancy, my fancier knives in. This is one that will go up on the display thing in my pocket, the fancy case. See knives like this have their own place that they, they are, they're, they're in the upper echelon. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe it. Uh, life on spokes said word to the wise. Don't leave your EDC in your pocket. When you walk into the ocean. I have some cleaning and lubing to do on my mini Praxis. Oh, yeah. Now, Prado24, he lent. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm, I'm missing stuff. Josh Branson has been a member for 13 months. 
somewhere around there. Lucky number 13, question mark, and Rob Nice just gifted a Bees Blades membership. And guess who got it? Mr. Fluffy. <laughs> Mr. Fluffy Pants. Fancy Pants. Mr. Fluffy, congratulations. And thank you, Rob Nice, for generously donating that Bees Blades membership. What's up, Paul Johnson? He said, what's up, Bees Bladers? Hey, and shout out to everyone that is listening right now while you're driving down the road. Don't watch. You can always watch later. I, I, have, I have a conversation during my live streams. Most, and I mean the majority of the live stream is me hanging out with you all, answering questions, talking to you, and just having a good time and talking about knives. So you can always watch later, but this is a good time to listen because the live stream goes for a while, man. You're going on, you're going on a, a, a long trip or something like that. Just put on some bees blades live until you can't take it anymore. But everybody that's working right now and you're listening, a shout out to you. Another special shout out. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part, even though you might not be able to comment or anything like that, unless you're like taking a bathroom break or something. But thank you for hanging out with us on Friday night at the Hive Stream. Oh, wait a minute. I see another milestone. Mr. Mark Durr. He said, greeting bees and bees bladers. The Hive will be hot tonight. Mark Durr with seven months. Hey, Mark, did you get your uh, knife from Backpack B yet? Life on Spoke said, word. oh yeah, I already read that. <laughs> I'm good at reading things over again. Cheeto working on his only foos. Um, Dang Ross said driving and hiving. What's up, Dang? Dang. Aries EDC said the penguin is a great one. Everybody's got to have a penguin, right? But I'm telling you right now, I am I am extra, extra stoked. Just, I mean, would you look at it? Just look at it. And all its milled titaniumness. Oh my goodness. Look, when I have it facing this way, it doesn't look like it has milling. And then I go like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> look at that. That, my friends, is oh titanium with milling like this. And then perfect detent. Love, love, love that blade. And it it has a it has a slight uh we call it hollow ground to it. I double checked a minute ago. I was like, I, it feels like it. So I went like this to see if light was coming through. And oh yeah, you can definitely tell when you use a straight edge because it feels like it, but sometimes you're not so sure. What's up, Kelly O'Neill and Brian K. Brian K. Forty said traditional pocket knives is currently having a QSP sale. Oh wait a minute, something just happened. Ken Faulkner gifted, gifted five Bees Blades membership. Ken, my man. And guess who got him? <laughs> Stacy said it takes practice to keep up with the chat. Oh, you know what? I even have it on top chat. Shame on me. We got we to gotta tell people how to do pull out the chat and to put it on live chat. So it's even more busy. Mid-Missouri EDC, I know who you are. Cheeto Bandito. Life on Spokes, Dang Ross, Dwayne Letterman, all were gifted Bees Blades memberships by Ken Faulkner. Thank you, Ken. You are the man. Uh, what about a partridge or a pear tree? I saw something. Top Dog said, that's a sexy knife. What's up, Top Dog 8762? What's up? And I know what the 8762 stands for. <laughs> Just saying. Dang Ross. Dang, Ross. Uh, BK said, what's up, Hive? A little late, but finally. TGI Hive Live. Yeah. Uh, Michael Warren said, ribbed for your pleasure. You got that right. Greg Bunt said, I love, love hologram blades. I bought, see, bought hashtag Nori today. N-O-R-E. Life is good at the Hive. Shadow for Golf said, I know 762. Don't know 8762. Eight five seven. You need the beef. <laughs> I know that's good. I love some of these names. You need the beef. What's up? You need the beef. Craig Bunt said, "I love love hollow ground blades." Bought three more today. Wow. Uh, there's there's a hollow ground blade that I am looking for. I'm wanting. I want the Manix Two hollow ground blade just because I want it in my collection. They don't make them anymore, but they're out there. Mr. Jeff said, how do you know if you win a gift membership? Um, it will show up on the screen, and then you'll magically have a B next to your name. 
Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Did I? Whoa, whoa, wait a second. D Edelman. I got to get over here. Man, I'm either slacking or it's just so, it's so much fun. God. Oh, God. Why am I saying? I'm not going to say that again. That reminds me of watching TV back in the olden days. D Edelman with the $10 hair. He said, bees, now that you got a fancy knife, you need some fancy pants to carry. <laughs> Thank you, D. Mr. Fancy Pants. Thank you, D. Oh, wait a minute. D. Edelman. Um, that's that's a $10 hairs. $10 hairs gets the bees blades a mara hair. And the mara hair is like looking a little crazy. There we go. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Broham, a Broham Lincoln. Broseph. Uh, El Cap Attic just gifted a Bees Blades membership. And Ace King was gifted the membership. Thank you very much, El Cap Attic, and welcome to the inner hive, Mr. Ace King. Mr. Fancy Pants. You have to be a Mr. Fancy Pants and have a CJRB Feldspa and a Warn Attack. Oh my gosh, I'm about to, I'm, I'm you know, I, I have to admit, I'm feeling a little warny. A little warny. That is a warny. Whoo! That is a warny blade right there. <laughs> Just saving myself. Whoo, mamacita. Dr. Bass said, happy Friday, bees and fans. Happy, happy Friday. And Cliff Spears said, what's up, party people? What's up, James Alton? <laughs> Joe Casper said, dude, don't. Uh, and Stacy just put up a link for Skiff Bearings. You can use code LEFTYEDC for 10% off. And that's what I used when I got my Skiff Bearings. Thank you very much, D. Edelman, for the 10 dolly hairs. Brian F. said, get yourself a Tempest Jetstream pre-order while you can. Thank you very much for putting that up, Brian. Um, I have a, I have a, a, a jet stream on the way. Craig Bunt said, I can see that hollow ground from here. Good camera work, bees. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Right there. Oh, speaking of cameras, I got, I got to get a little bit of the fingerprint action off of this bad boy. Oh my goodness gracious. I thank you so, so very much, man. I gosh, go and get, go, go and get you a worn attack. If you want a very sweet, sleek, oh my gosh, it is just so good. And look at that blade. So nice. Oh my goodness. I just, I just can't believe it. I appreciate it so much. Look at that, that penguin down there. Man, if, if the camera sees a face, it just focuses right in. Look at that. Mr. Penguin, B Penguin. And then you cover it up and it's like, oh. Wayne Samarjic said, breathe, bees. Whew. Mark said, if they only had a lefty. <sighs> Ken Faulkner said, I just, I got a jet stream on order. Can't wait, but I have to. What Dugan thinks. What's up, what Dugan thinks? He said, looks good, B. Dwayne K said, I, uh, I ordered two of the Donut Connection pre-order raccoons today. Oh, yeah. Crispy Donut Community has a collab with Kaiser. You can get the Crispy Donut Community Kaiser Original, I think is what it is. Tyler Williams said, I'm still here. It's Monopoly Night with the family. Hey, um, speaking of Kaiser Original, you know what? If you don't like heavier knives and you're always, if you're one of those folks, which there's nothing wrong with it, but if you're one of those folks that prefers a lighter knife, here you go. Here's the Kaiser original and carbon fiber. And by the way, the links to all the knives on the table that I'm getting ready to show you, they're all in the description. So if you're ever watching a video and you see knives, you can always go below and look in the comment section or the description and there'll be links so you can go check them out. But here's the new Kaiser original carbon fiber. And it's some nice looking carbo fiber. Look at that. Uh, Ken Faulkner said it's the raccoon. You're right. It's the raccoon. <laughs> Kaiser. Vostid, same thing. The Kaiser Raccoon. <laughs> the, or the Vostid Original. Now, I better stop or I'm really going to get messed up. So you can get a Vostid Raccoon. Quit that. You can get a Vostid Raccoon to look like a crispy donut community. Let me see. Let me grab a raccoon. So you can get a, a, a Vostid Raccoon to look like this. That's pretty cool. And I love the texture on their G10 too. So they did, a, <clears throat> it's such a big, 
big or such a I don't know big time word you used word collab. But yeah, you can get you a raccoon that looks like that bad boy right there. That is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, put that over there. Original XL better than a pyrite. <clears throat> oh, you can get these in XL too. I'm pretty sure that you can get an original XL in this carbon fiber. <clears throat> Excuse me. And these only weigh two ounces. Two ounces. And Mrs. B's can reverse flick it. It's such a good knife. I would like to have this knife in S35VN. This is 154CM. I like 154CM. I'm just saying. David Kula said, what finish blade finish does not show fingerprints? Um, I would, the first thing that comes to mind is kind of maybe a black stone wash, a black wash. Um, that one's pretty good at not showing fingerprints. Um, a stone wash in general helps. A satin is going to show fingerprints. But that's why you just always carry a, one of these or carry a hank or something. Oh, where's the new Olight hanks? I don't know if any of you got in on the new Olight hanks, but I like them because they're really thin and lightweight and they're not real bulky in your pocket. D Professor's Critter said, Ooh, sprinkles. Oh, you just reminded me of something that I forgot to do. Oh, I already did it. Wow. Wow. All right. Wow. Who's that says that? Owen Owen Wilson? Owen. He goes, wow. Brian F said acid wash or stone wash. What's up, D70 Racing? Greg Maroney said, pop it in quick to say what's up. Driving. Dude, keep on driving. And I'm thank you. Thank you for saying hello. And I'm glad you're listening. Craig Bunt said Civivi has really stepped up their game. Quality is great. The backlash kicks butt. G10 with three and a half inch Damascus blade is so sweet. Yenzer said, new knife alert, red horse, Hellraiser. I'm in love. Knives fast. So there, there may be a Tempest sprinkle burst at some point. <laughs> oh, dude, that would be so cool. I love the sprinkle stuff. Sprinkle burst. <laughs> I was going to say something. I'm not going to say it. Sprinkle burst, like a tinkle burst. Yeah, I'm not going to go there. Life on Spoke said, going to check out your Kaiser vid. Be right back. And that's what I'm talking about. KC from Nice Fast, he just got done watching my new Kaiser video that came out tonight with the brand new releases. Hot off the press. No, he probably didn't. Just saying. Uh, Ken Faulkner said, hey, KC, sounds like fun. Heck yeah, whenever you have a product out there, by all means, use every avenue to put it out there because... The only way people find out about something is if they hear about it and they have to hear about it somewhere. And if you want to go to get you an awesome freaking knife, you can go to Precision Knife Works and get you a Warn Attack, which is this bad boy right here, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And then if you want another really cool knife that you can't get, that you can order right now, go to Tempest Knives. Go to TempestKnives.com and you can pre-order a jet stream and the jet stream is going to have milling very, very similar to this right here, which is going to make it an absolute win. Will B has been a member for 16 months. He said, I've really been listening to this lunatic raving about knives for how long? Happiness is the hive. Will B, my man. 16 months. Yes, you have been listening for 16 months. Can you, be can you believe it? What Dugan thinks said, I have one coming. There you go. Yeah, I can't wait to get my new jet stream. When is it going to be here, KC? Like next week or something? Brian F said, need yourself a workhorse cleaver. Check out brother Luke 10 text Clydesdale. Go get you a Clydesdale. And if you want to know what the Clydesdale is, you can go and search my videos and, and see the Clydesdale. Cue ball. Cue ball is cutting quarters in the hive. He said, evening, folks. At my, at my folks having dinner. Hope to join up later. What's up, cue ball? Knife Wife said, just got home, live in the hive. Oh, right. What's up, Knife Wife? Love hearing Knife Wife. Howard K said, Civivi may be my new go-to for budget knives. Hey, y'all, li listen here. Um, if you go to the link in the description of this live stream, right, or any of, any of my videos, go through my Civivi link. And they still, by the way, in case you forgot, they still have their big sale going on right now. And they have knives like 
32% off. You can stack my discount code on top of it, another 5% and get 37% off Civivis. That sale is still going on right now as we speak. Dwayne K has been a member for 20 months. 20 months. Awesome. Totally awesome. Jay Spicoli. Dwayne K, man, 20 months, dude. Can you believe it? That is craziness. Where's that little knife that I had out earlier? I had I had a knife, one of the new knives from Civivi. Oh, here it is. I had the, the purple chronic. You can get these for uh, like 32 bucks, I think. Something like that. This is a sweet little snapper. I like me a, <laughs> like me a sweet snapper. Check that out. But yeah, right now, you know, you don't, that's like, you don't know it unless somebody tells you Civivi still has their sale going on. And, and it's not very often that you can get a knife, a Civivi knife cheaper on Civivi's website than you can Amazon or somewhere else. But this is the, this is the time of year when they do the sales like this and like, and like a lot, that's how it is with a, a lot of the companies. <clears throat> You can get them cheaper, you know, like uh, if you go to Blade HQ or one of you know Amazon or whatever. But right now, the clearance knives on Civivi, pretty good deal. And this is a this is a nice knife. This is one you could put in your pouch. And speaking of pouches, does anyone else have the same problem I do? And you overstuff your pouch? <laughs> I mean, I just oh look at that. What anybody know what this knife is? Somebody tell me what that knife is in the front of my. EDC pouch. I have this pouch with me every day. Somebody tell me what that knife is. Tropical said, I want a discount on the CVV Karambit. Oh yeah. Did someone ever tell me what the name of it was? Because I have, oh, I forgot what it's called. Stacy Bolster Blades says it's the pinion. Steve Owen says it's the microburst. So this is, see, it's hard to tell because you only see that corner, but Swing. It's the burst of the micro variety. Now I only have one micro burst because I'm I bought two. We gave one away last week or the week before last week. Yeah. I mailed it out today to the winner. I mailed out 11 packages today and I have two more to go. Packing packages and figuring out for sure who the winners are and all that stuff. It it, it takes me like hours. It takes forever. Nice fast said with the rain scales. Yeah, check that out. I love this knife. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Stacy Bolsterblade said the Civivi link. Uh, yeah, the one that says uh, the right, the yeah, the Civivi link that I it should say it, I should have my 5% code listed with it. Let me see. Civivi nice 5% off code. Yeah, that one free shipping. That that's the general that that takes them to the website and then you can go to the clearance. There's a, a spot for clearance. So when you go, when you go, when you follow this link, just look where it says clearance items. Clearance, clearance. Robert Vance has been a member for six months. Um, he said, hello, bees. I just watched the Kaiser video. Love the brat. Thank you for all you do. You're very, very welcome. Dwayne K's got, he's going to be right back. He has to go get his door dash. What's up, Thomas Wheeler? Um, here is the knife cam. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Let's do a little switcherooski. Whoop. So here are the knives that were on the channel. This well, here's a whew, I'm putting this one over here. Golly. Jeez. So here's the knives that were on the channel this week in the last seven days. I didn't count the ones that were on last Friday, which those that would be the Civivis. This is one of them, <clears throat> but these were on the channel this week. You have the new Kaiser drop bears, the, the two, you have the two new drop bears center bottom. Is that a Rafir? No, actually it is a, uh, a resin. And this, this is the Trevisa SGR. This thing is freaking awesome. I, I'm totally all about Trevisa. I love Trevisa knives. I really like pointy knives. This is the SGR07. Let me show it to you up close. Let me give you a really good up close. The, the Trevisa SGR07. Look at that. 
Is that not some coolness? Gene Gray said, what are the Barlock knives? Uh, Barlock knives. Um, those are the Kaiser Drop Bear and the Kaiser uh, Sheepdog. This is, yeah, look at this. It's pokey pokey. Ooh, so pokey. Look at that. Oh, isn't that some good stuff? And this is not an expensive knife. You would expect this to be as expensive as Rafir scales. But if you look real close, you can see the metallic parts of the edges of the Rafir. They're not Rafir. The, uh, what do you call that stuff? I just said it. The resin. Yeah, this thing, oh my goodness, it is so, so good. Donald said, bees or Greg Maroney? I goofed up. What size skiff cage bearings do I need for the Veritas? You need the um, something 30 seconds. Oh, man, you got the wrong ones. Let me show you guys something really cool. Let me get out my extremely fancy, expensive knife maintenance kit. So you can go get you one of these knife maintenance kits or not kits, but you can get you this, this holder that I got. Um, it's a very fancy holder that I keep my knife maintenance gear in and you can get these for a dollar. <laughs> here's, here's where all of my nice fanciness, not all my parts, but, um, this is where I keep, like I have parts for some knives in here and you know what I do? Hey, here, here's a piece of advice whether you want it or not. When you start getting into knives and you start taking things apart or you start swapping out things, do what I do and always put it in a baggie with a card or something that says what it is. Or you will have parts that you won't know what they are, what they go to. These parts go to the Devo Mash 2.0. That's how I know. And I use the sticky notes where the whole sticky note is sticky, not just up at the top. The whole thing is all the way down to that bottom part. So anyway, see, like, look at here. Gee, I wonder what's in this. Savivi pocket clip screws, and they're black. How about them apples? What was I coming over here to get? Um, I have some skiff bearings in here. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> um, okay, so if you go to the skiff workshop, you go to skiff, right? You can get this, this tool right here. I, I'm off the top of my head. I'm thinking it's like 12 14 bucks. It's not expensive, but this is how you can see for sure what size bearings to get. You, you'll take your knife apart, put the, put the pivot screw through one of these holes, right? Whichever the first hole that the pivot screw will go in, that will tell you the size of the pivot. Then whichever you keep going, you keep going up until your uh, bearing goes through the hole. I'll, I'll show you right now. I'll give you an example. And matter of fact, um, let's see, three sixteenths, three sixteenths. Those those aren't it. Let's see what this one is. Five millimeter. I'm trying. Someone probably already told him what uh, Justin Ohio said. Tag it and bag it. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. Oh, three sixty fourths. I believe is the size you need for the Veritas. And I'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and check that right now. Because guess what's in my right pocket? The Kaiser Veritas. Look at that. How about some beauty? Look at that. EDC and Lay said, Trivia actually has, Trevisa has actually good customer service. I sent them pics of bad lockup on my S35VN links. And they sent me a new one on the spot. Do you hear that? Good customer service. Shadow for golf said, let me refresh. I keep falling out. Dude, don't fall out. Um, I'm going to do a little something, something here. We'll just check this real quick while we're on the live, because this is something we can do while we're live at the hive. All right. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's use this little tool. And uh, Stacy's been graciously putting up the, the link to, where did I put the little tool? Such a tool. Ah, there it is. All right. So I'm going to use this little tool from Skiff. And I'm going to zoom in here. I know if you guys are talking, I'm not, I just talk away because I'm, I usually don't do things like this because, well, then I can't see what you're saying. So this right here is Get Good Screw. I have another one on the way from Get Good Screw. They're really cool. 
but we'll just we'll just measure this uh this real quick and i'll show you how it's, i'll show you how to do it so there's the, the, is this all t8s or t6s i can't remember let's see is that a t is that a t6 really that's a t6 i'll be darn don't mind me i'm just over here contemplating life that's a t8 i can't see what i'm doing um that is a t7 are you cereal <clears throat> Let's see. There it is. There's a T6. And by the way, if you're looking for a well-priced uh, bit driver, these are CRKT. You can get these. Uh, if you go through my Blade HQ link, you can get these for 20 bucks. These T6s. Yep. All right. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Uh, do I have to take that apart? Yeah. So we'll just do a quick disassembly just for the fun of it. So I can show you how to measure for your, what size skiffs or uh, replacement bearings. All right, ta-da, we we're all apart. ADC and Lace said, D, I heard it's going anti-gravity tech from 1950s recovered non-human tech. Um, <clears throat> all right, let me zoom in a little bit more here for you guys. And then we'll move on to other stuff. But you know what? That's the kind of stuff we, we like doing here is now this one you can see see this uh, darkness i used the dry the dry lube the kpl dry lube and it's it's dark and you know what we're gonna do really quick like i'm gonna get some alcohol not the kind you think i'm getting but this is kind of fun i don't know that i've ever actually done yeah see you can tell i've carried the heck out of this thing i don't know that i've actually done a disassembly on the live stream. So we'll just clean this off real quick. Get the goop off of it. I have some 91% uh, alcohol. <clears throat> Spray some of that on there. We'll just wipe it off. And I'm blocking my own screen so I can't see what you guys are saying. There we go. What's up, M-Bomb? M-Bomb jerky's in the hive. There we go. Got that all cleaned off. Here's my skiffs. These are skiff bearings right here. See that? Aren't they purdy? Yeah, the Veritas is a fancy one. It, it, it had the privilege of getting some skiffy skiffs, skiffs, skiffs. Uh, D Professor said, does dry lube e equal graphite? You know, I don't think it's graphite. It, uh, the, the dry lube from KPL, it leaves a one micron film and it's dry. So it doesn't attract dirt and stuff as much. And that's what I used on this. And I haven't had any problems and no complaints. So, all right, let's check this out. Let me, let me continue since I have it apart. I might as well clean it, right? All right. Dry lube is usually Teflon, knife nut said. All right, so this is what you do. See here, I have my, let me see what you guys can see. All right, so here's my pivot. Here's, here's the little tool that you can get from Skiff Workshop. Start down at the bottom one. It won't, it won't fit through that one. So let's go to the 3 16 Will it go through the 3 16 No. So then go to the next one, 5 millimeter. Schwing! See, it went through that one, 5 millimeter. So this is a 5 millimeter pivot. That's what tells you the inside diameter of your, of your Skiff, or your replacement bearings. And then to know what size bearings, Start at the smallest size, one millimeter, it won't fit through. See, it won't go through. So let's try 364. Oh, there you go. So it's a five millimeter by 364. That's the size of the Kaiser Veritas. That's that's how easy, that's how nice this thing is. You can just that's how you know what size. <clears throat> this is worth getting. If you're ever gonna buy skiffs or if you want something really cool to go in your in your kit. Because if you get into knives, you're going to eventually start taking knives apart. It's just, it's just going to happen because it's, it's fun. And I was having, a, well, I started a conversation with someone recently. They, they were uh, talking about, you know, I don't, why are these people having to take apart? And why are reviewers having to take apart knives and things like that? You don't have to take them apart. The thing is, it's a, you know, it's something that's mass produced. And it's part of the hobby is you can make it even better. 
Um, Cliff Spear said, where can you go to Skiff? Stacy Bolster Blades has, has been putting up the uh, link to Skiff and a 10% off discount code from Lefty. And I'm going to get me, definitely get you some doodads. Got to get you some doodads. Richard Strumberger said, might have to pick one of those up. Yeah, dude, it is, it is really cool. It's, it's either that, or you can use a, uh, you can use a, uh, what do you call those things? Um, shoot. You know, the, uh, Minitoyu, Minitoya, what do you call those things? So anyway, this is this, by the way, if you haven't watched one of my disassemblies, now is your chance. You see, I have the knife apart. I got some knife pivot lube. I'm going to put regular on it this time. Just some KPL knife pivot lube. By the way, I have a 10% off discount to this stuff. Yeah, Lefty is Sir Skiffs a lot. He loves his Skiffs. So I'm just going to put a little bit around there. And then put my, uh, put this dude back on. Put some around there. A little looby doob. A little looby doob action. Now, uh, let's see. Is anyone watching as intently as I am? <laughs> Just going to put a little bit around there. And you don't need much. A little dabble, do you? And I didn't even have to put that on there because I already put some on there. But I like playing. I, You know, this is something I enjoy doing. This is a pastime for me. It's taking my, even if you take your time, it doesn't take you 10 minutes to, to clean a knife. And I'm going to clean the inside inside of this out. Will B said, Skiffs help me in some knives, but make other knives worse. Just depends on the knife. Kresk said, I dealt, I dealt with long-term corrosion avoidance and defense products for 30 years. Aluminum pits e easily, even if anodized, if sitting long enough. All right, so let's put this, put a little bit of luby doob So is there anyone in here that's never taken apart a knife? You haven't, you haven't ventured into taking... A part of knife. I've spoke to someone recently who said they have several knives that are apart. I'm like, okay, have you put them back together yet? And something I always used to forget, well, often used to forget, I have some KPL Heavy. It's just a little thicker viscosity that I'm going to put right here in the detent ball hole, in the detent hole. Pedro said, I have it. BF Gunner said, I can't take apart any of my fixed blades. Huh. I wonder if you can take the handles off. So I'm just going to put one drop in there. Just, uh, just, just come out here just a little bit. This knife is so smooth already. I don't need to do anything special to it. All right. So we've got all that. But this dude here. Oh, did anyone catch that I missed something? Fook Duesley said, I have never taken a knife apart today. Look at this. I forgot a freaking bearing. Holy freaking moly. You guys, you guys, were, were you catching it? Did, did anybody catch that? Because in, in my uh, disassemblies, I always do my disassemblies, and I try to do them quick, and I'd have a piece roll off, you know, down the table, and I'd forget that I didn't put something back on there. So... All right, just making sure they're both on there. <clears throat> All right, let's put this dude back together. Is everything clicked in? Uh, I do believe it is. Everything looks good. Feels good. It feels good. Betty Davis said, you need that, bees. So let's put our pivot back in. And see, it is. I'm not putting any Loctite on it because I don't lock. I don't Loctite any of my knives unless they force me to. Some knives come apart really easy, but you know what? The Veritas has not been. I've I flicked the holy heck out of my Veritas, and it. I have not had to put Loctite on it, and I forgot that it had T sixes. Look here. See this side coming out. I got to put that back in where it goes. Let's see which direction we go in here. Got to turn that around. And I'm trying not to cut myself. When you put this, when you put the Veritas back together, put your finger over there so you don't pop out the other side. Put this dude in here. 
There we go. This is about as quiet as you'll hear me on the live stream because I'm actually paying attention to what I'm doing. Jason Horn said, I have my new Sincut Scepter apart now cleaning it. Yeah. Knife cleaning time. See, that's something else fun to do while you're watching the live stream, hanging out with everybody. Salamando said, focus. You'll focus. You need more focus. And we almost got her back together. How we feel? Rock solid. Oh, yeah. Swing. There you go. Now, that was fun. I, I can't believe, I don't think that I've done a disassembly. And you see, it, it didn't take that long. I don't think I've not, I don't think I have done a full disassembly. And this is something we could do more of if y'all are interested. But, but that is an example <laughs> of how to use the bearing pivot measurer dealio. Uh, D Professor's Critter said, do you have a Band-Aid handy? Yes, I have a first aid kit right here. The back side of my uh, Roaring Fire Gear pouch. By the way, these pouches are awesome. I'm, I've checked out and I'm checking out different types of patches, but I've had this one for a long time. I have two of them. I have this one and a smaller one. And I have, uh, I have this one here. This is the Pico Fire. I like them. They're, they're really tough. And I'm, I'm uh, reviewing a couple other pouches that seem pretty, pretty nice too. Yeah. And I have a box of band-aids up there and I have band-aids in here. I have band-aids everywhere just in case, just in case. Uh, Stacy said, get calipers at B's link to Amazon. Yes. I have a, a link in the description. Just use any of my links and you can go and get you some, uh, matter of fact, I'll show you right now. I'll, I'll give you a the link right now and you can go and find you some calipers because because there's different there's different uh do i not have um let's see stacy did i i don't have just a general um link do i i need to add this the general uh the general link i don't know if i have i don't think i have the my calipers on my bees blade shop i don't can't remember I need to put them on there because that's something I use almost freaking daily. Calipers are part of uh, part of life. But here's my Amazon shop. I just put the link up. EDC said, Melvin, have you tried heating to break the Loctite? Oh, yeah. Heat it up. You can even put it in super hot water sometime can be enough to uh, break up the Loctite. There's all kinds of tips and tricks. You can also have a rubber mat. I can't see what I'm doing here. You can also have a rubber mat and you can torque, not a lot, but you can torque the blade. Okay, imagine this is a table, all right? You can torque the blade like this with downward pressure and that will help lock the pivot if you have a spinning pivot. Anyway, that's just what came to mind about that. Uh, Melvin said, the skiff tool is sold out. Oh. You got to be kidding me. Thank you, Melvin, after all that. Well, anyway, we know the size of the pivot for the uh, Veritas. And, oh, well, here's here's something else. Um, now that you know the size, you can get some for your Veritas. But the Skiff Workshop, they do have a list of sizes for a lot of different knives. And I need to find out if you can actually go and add to that list. And guess what? NAF sale officials in the hive with the $10 here said happy Friday hive. And it is that time to go check out NAF sale. Perfect reminder. Isn't it, isn't it something how that works? Because I haven't been to NAF sale in a few days. I don't know what's going on. I got to check it out. D professor said, I actually have whale oil. My father was a watchsmith in his spare time and used it on his own expensive pocket watches. Very, oh, NAF sale with the $10 hairs. $10 hairs gets you mare hair. Now, we always have new people in here. And for all you new folks, this will be brand new for you. But if you have knives that you want to sell or you don't want to you don't want to spend full price on a knife, well, there's a lot of knife collectors like us. We'll get a knife. And then we're like, yeah, I like it. I don't carry it. I want to sell a couple and upgrade or get this knife that I've been looking at. Well, this is where you go. This is the secondary market I'm about to show you right now. Um, share screen. 
We'll go over here and check it out and see what's on. Steve Owen said, I knife sailed twice this week. <laughs> Why did that make me think something else? Uh, I knife sailed twice this week. I like that. Here is Knaf Sale. Knaf Sale is great. Hey, Steven Johnson said, I was just shopping on Knaf Sale myself. So here's Knaf Sale. This is where you can sell your knives very easily, and they, they act as a middle middleman. And you don't have to fool with any of the anything. Someone says they want the knife. Knaf Sale will notify you and send you the shipping label. And then you just ship it out to the person. Craig Bunce said the KPL dry lube works great on calipers, slides, and knife sharpening rods as well. You know what? I'm going to have to put some on my TS Prof and my, uh, let me put this stuff up. I'm getting too many things out here. I've gotten knife maintenance parts all over the place. There we go. Uh, VCR Fine said, I'm sitting here taking my CMB Predator apart and a, and a pain in the butt. Oh yeah, the uh, it, it's, it takes a little bit of practice and a, a couple, three, disassemblies of uh, crossbar locks to get the hang of it. So let's check out the official listings of NAF sale up here on the top left. And let me double check and see what you guys are seeing. Okay. So you can see what I'm seeing. Can you smell what I'm stepping in? Can you smell a little, a little what the bees is cooking? Matthew Russell said, I picked up a Benchmade bailout, a CJRB Rhea and a cold steel ranch boss on NAF sale yesterday. Dude, see NAF sale is, is kicking some serious tail. That it is only going to get bigger and bigger. This is the place to go. You, you look, you have Devo knives, giant mouse. They are a giant mouse. They're right there. There's KPL original. That's what I was just putting on the Kaiser Veritas that I took apart. Eric Glassford said, I'm waiting for the Mirage to ship. Melvin Inman said, I'm spending my money, my birthday money there. Tropical said, ding, ding, ding for NAF sale. I, I agree. Top Dog said NAF sale. Oh, Top Dog just put up the link for NAF sale. Oh, I'm see, I'm sitting here reading the chat and not paying attention. So we have Urban EDC Copita, Copita, Giant Mouse, Giant Mouse, Giant Mouse, Giant Mouse Ace Jutland. Um, that's the Giant Mouse Ace Clyde. I have the Ace Clyde. That's a nice little gentlemanly size knife, a gents knife, ladies knife. There's an Ace Nimbus. And let's, if you click back here up at the top left where it says NAF sale, it takes you back to the main page. Then you can shop the Marketplace, Devo Knives, ABW, American Blade Works, Giant Mouse, EDC Accessories, Budget Friendly, Made in the United States. Um, let's go up here and check the Marketplace. Custom EDC Knives that I have an operator Warnatech listed on NAF sale. What? Hold on. I want to see. Okay, let's see if we can find it with a search. I'm going to the back to the main page. And let's see if we can search it by Warn Attack. No results under Warn Attack. What if we put custom EDC knives? Poor knives. Operator edition Warn Attack. There, ooh, that's the blacked out one. Look at that. That's a limited edition operator series warrant attack. There's only 50, uh, there's only three left. The coating is ceramic coating. It was done professionally by Richie and Lindy over at Knife Modders. Shout out to Linda and Richie. I haven't heard from them in a while. I, I don't think I saw them at Blade Show this year. Um, put a 600 grit edge on each knife. Nine of them will be available on July 4th and the other 41 hopefully be available. Yeah, so there's only three of these left. Look at that. And if you don't know what that knife is, um, if you weren't here earlier tonight, the Warn Attack was gifted to Bees Blades. And that's who was just talking. And that that's where you, you can go right now. Um, okay, I'm trying to focus on three things at once. There you go. Just look at it. This thing is absolute beast mode. LC said, I need to hit that bell for the for these mods being on it every stream. Yes, thank you for all the mods. Uh, BK said, I got my buddy Mr. Shin watching live for the first time. What's up, Mr. Shin? Hope you're having a great knife, man. And I did just said great knife. Top Dog said, one heck of a gift. Yes, it is very much so. Um, back to NAF sale. What's up, Jasper EDC? So there's the Warn Attack. The operation operator edition. That's the fancy one. The fancy one. 
no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm 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 uh, enamored. I'm just sitting here staring at it. So there's the Operation Warn Attack, uh, the uh, the Squid Two, Lucas Barnley, the custom Squid Two, uh, two forty, a Spiderco McB. There's your little McB. Hey, I should have a McB. It should be the. I should make an make a knife, design a knife, called the McBees. There's a Chef knife, a PMP Spartan. Look, man, I like the looks of that blade. That's a nice tall blade. That reminds me of Lefty's knife. One of Lefty's knives. Lefty EDC or Devo. It reminds me of a Devo knife. Jasper said, I'm rocking an Asher picket that Zachariah ought DSKFS to me from Blades Blades and EDC's giveaway. That is pretty cool. Steven Johnson said, there's a Benchmade bug out. S30V, blue scales, 135 bucks. Pretty good deal if anyone is interested. Well, there you go. See, everyone's getting in on this. There's a Pena X Series Apache to Hundo. Sherrick said, How about a SUNY B? Robin Dullum. Dullum said, Hi, Bees. First time at the live show, but I've watched a lot of great content for you, from you. I appreciate it. What's up, Robin? Hey, Robin, hit the thumbs up. We're checking out NAF sale. We, we check out NAF sale a couple times every live stream. Oh, yeah. I, was, I wasn't even, it wasn't even on there. I'm going to get me a drink. And something that I want to do, what time is it? Uh, it's 9.22. Something I want to do before the live stream's over is, oh my gosh, wow, time is flying. All right. <laughs> I'm, oh my gosh, time is going so fast. We have we have plenty of time left. I'm just saying, I can't believe it. Kenneth Dovich said, Bees, you make a knife, I would for sure buy it. One of these days, man. One of these days, Alice. Pow! NAF sale official said, I may be on the, but I may buy that bug out. There you go. NAF sales checking out that bug out. Steve Owen said, bees just design a scale for the lander. I'd buy a bees lander. Ha! That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. Let's do this. Um, yeah. So I need to zoom out. So everybody, this is that this is your first time here. We were just checking out NAF sale. We do a lot of different cool stuff here on, on the hive stream. So these are the knives that were on the channel. These, there was a video made and all of these knives starred in a video. Uh, knives fast told me to check my Instagram. How many things do you think Casey that I can possibly do at once? <laughs> uh, level one up said, Hey Todd, good to see you again. Feeling any better? So pardon me. For a moment, you all, while my Instagram sets up. What? All right, I'm about to show you all something here. I'm going to... Uh, ah, that's all right. I love I love all this junk dancing around. So I'm here's the knives. <laughs> Let me complete a thought. Here's the knives that were on videos this week. Kaiser just dropped the new Kaiser Brat. I have a link in the, in this live streams description where you can go. You could be one of the first ones to get the Kaiser Brat. And you know what? A lot of button locks. I get I get the bounce out right when it. This one I do not get the bounce out. I really like it. It feels it feels very solid in my hand, and it's an integral, an integral, integral. I don't know how to say it. It's an integral. And it looks very, very nice. Very, very nice. It is very solid. The handle, wow. I mean, it feels like a fixed blade. It's that comfortable in the hand. Shariq Cunningham said, you are super bees. You can do all things. I, I'll, I'll give all things a try. I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. Be, uh, what's the rest of that? A jack of all trades and a master of none is better than, uh, how does it go? A jack of all trades and a master of none is something better than is much is much better than a master of one something like that scott n has been a member for 21 months what's up scott n he said happy friday night at the hive scott in rocking to 21 months approaching the two years the kaiser brat is the newest must have from kaiser there it is this is their newest model and then while I'm completing a thought, I have KC's IG pulled up. This is this is the new crossbar lock sheepdog. I love it. 
I mean, I love it. It feels so good. So now they have, you can get the button lock, you can get a flipper, you can get one with the hole. Now you have this one with the crossbar lock. You have thumb studs that you can remove and you have the hole. I'm keeping the thumb studs in because I like the thumb studs. This is such a comfortable knife. It's so good. And yes, I do have links to the in the description to these new drops. This is the new Kaiser Drop Bear in the green micarta and black stonewash blade. And then here is the new Kaiser Drop Bear in the black micarta stonewash blade. This is the black stonewash. So that's the two new versions of the Kaiser Drop Bear. Nice Vast said it's all good. Sorry. No, you didn't interrupt, dude. That's the only way. I I believe me, when Mrs. Beast comes down, ask her. I appreciate her interrupting me because you have to. <laughs> I, you know, some folks think it's so rude. Oh, he interrupted. I I interrupt. I I I'm approaching 50 and I'm a bad interrupter because I have so much to say and I don't do it on purpose, but I actually appreciate it when people butt in. It's more like being at home. You know, we had a family of six and that's the only way you got heard is you had to butt in. And with me, uh, that's how you got to get my attention. Um, so those are the, those are those. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And this is the new Kaiser original. It weighs two ounces. It's carbon fiber. It weighs two freaking ounces. Craig Bunt said, drop bear my car to fluffy question mark. Well, let's take a look here real quick. It's pretty fluffy. Let's get in here and take a look. See, it's not too bad. It has the it has that real good micarta feel. Oh my goodness, it feels so good, so good. How about a little bit of texture vision for you? And hello, everybody that's new to the channel, and this is your first live stream. A lot of folks come to the live stream and said, "I wondered what you look like," and I was like, "You know, there's a tab at the top, and you can check out the community tab. The members can check out the membership tab, and you can check out the live tab, and you can just." play the live streams while you're working out in the garage or working in the yard or whatever. Look at that. They call this green. Is there anyone, uh, am I wrong? It doesn't really look green to me. They always call it green micarta, but maybe it's just the slightest olive drab. Top dog with the five doll hair super sticker. The honey was getting cold. Thank you, top dog. He said, incredible. Um, by the way, Mrs. B's is fervently working on a super duper sticker. She made one that was like super duper. And you can take it either as that super duper or super duper. It's pretty much it's the in the eyes of the beholder. But we have a super duper sticker coming. Robert said it looks gray. Yeah. So one of these is black and one of them is allegedly green. And it's not just Kaiser. A lot of places, you know, Civivi and stuff. There's just a, the slightest bit of difference. Although in on this camera, it might not show as well as the knife cam. Let's see if the, the knife cam shows a different color. It all depends on your lighting. So, yeah. Boy, it's not too much different. Recreational RC and EDC said try getting it wet. Yeah. Todd Carr said need to take a break from chat. Talk to everyone in a bit. Okay, Todd. Don't go anywhere, though. James Alton said, drop bear in green with black stone wash looks green, even if it's not green. <laughs> Man, the drop bear is such a good knife. It really is. Mrs. B's carries the drop bear. She carries the uh, fancy one with the LC200 in. Oh, okay. Now, before we get to Orion Knives, Cetus. This one was on the channel this week. Look at that. This is another one. See, uh... I'm not going into a rant. This is another one where when, when I get a blade, any knife that has a blade that puts, puts my point well below the pivot, I like it. That's the first thing I notice because I really enjoy it. I like utility cuts. I like cutting. I like push cuts. I like piercers. This, this is pretty sweet. I really like it. Oh, hold on. Hold the boss. Hold up. Hold up. Da, 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 da. It's the B double E Z custom EDC knives with the 10 doll hairs. And all you channel members, don't forget when someone donate and makes a donation, put up some honey, put up some honey emojis. Um, custom EDC said question to bees and everyone. I'm going to have some stormtrooper warn tax done soon. 
Is there another color theme that you would like to see on the worn attack? Look at that. Oh, wow. We got the honey flowing. See, that's some cool stuff right there. And bees blades, we have, I don't know, 10, 13. I don't know how many emojis we have now. Uh, Stacy said Joker color scheme, purple. This is the worn attack. And he he's uh, he said he's going to do a stormtrooper. Stormtrooper would look really cool. What would be some other color schemes for the Warren attack? D Professor Critter said Joker, definitely. Ding, ding, ding. Brent Irvin, Irwin said Wolverine. LC Sand, Sand Trooper color would be dope. Or matte finish earth colors. Big Doug said blue is king. Brian K said black and bronze. Oh, you know, black and bronze is a very cool look. I was checking out Wee Knives today, and their black and bronze knives just look so good. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Purple Worn Attack. Jasper EDC said the flash colors. Black and yellow. Well, you're just getting all the colors in the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. The Worn Attack. Um, let me show you guys something. Um, 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 um um, because there's so many things to remember at once. And somebody remind me at like 10, I want to go back to NAF sale because I wanted to check something out. And I want to see if that uh, um, Benchmade sold out. Do, 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 do. Wow. So many things going on. Skittles, orange and black, black and lime green, Iron Man colors. Yeah. A little bit of black and gold. But do, uh, okay. I'm. I can only complete so many thoughts at once. I wanted to show a knife. Yes. So this right here is what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> oh, boy, this is rough. Okay, before I show this, I'll show this. I just have too many things to share with you all. That's just all, all there is to it. All right, so here is what KC was talking about. Would you look at that? I mean, just look at it. It's their microburst, and what did he call it? Sprinkle burst. There's a there's a rendition of the the microburst with sprinkles. Hey everybody, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. We got to get to 300 likes. There's a lot of people in here slacking. BFV Gunner said, "Bees, do you own a Concept Helix?" Um, I'll have to look it up to see if I have. Dwayne K said, Spiderco second sale is on July 25th. Lace is going to kill me. Hey, I've already got my alarm set, just so you, just so you know. Craig Bunce, yeah, I agree. He said, Warn Attack, black and red. So look at that. There's, there's KC's, or uh, I'm sorry, Tempest Knives microburst with, with, what do you call those? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. I'm about to have a Warn Attack. Just in Ohio uh, wants everyone to know he loves donuts. Yeah, toast. Oh, my Lanta. Uh, so this is the color I was talking about. This color scheme, to me, it just looks just, oh, my goodness. It looks so good. Black and brass or bronze and bronze and black, like, this color scheme alone just looks so classy. It looks rustic and and modern at the same time. Love this color scheme. EDC and Lace said, "Remember, y'all, don't log on until nine thirty. Why is that? why is that? Because it'll be half an hour afterwards." Mister Fluffy said, "What would be the best spider code to get on Tuesday with the sale?" Um. <sighs> I don't know. I guess it depends on what spider co you want, but I tell you what, a really good one is is the Manix Two Lightweight. It's a good one. Blast, blast, and brack, <laughs> black and brass. Yeah, toast. There's a Gerber Diamond, red and black. What's up, Tim B? So we're we're all discussing what color schemes would you like to see on the Warn Attack. Everyone's giving suggestions on new color schemes. For the Warn Attack. And then Knives Fast is in here from, uh, I always want to say 
a name of the knife. Tempest Knives. Here's the microburst. And he's going to do a microburst with scales like this, which I think is fantastic. Because these scales, I love, I love a lot of texture. I, I'm a texture whatever. The texture diva? Or wait a minute. No, maybe I thought I was the, the jimp diva. <laughs> the jimping and texture diva. Um, come on, focus. You'll focus the more. I'm gonna put this blade up. Deep copper, red blade, and hardware. EDC said, get you a Manix 2 lightweight and Maximet for about 80 bucks on the second sell. That's the best deal out there, period. Manix 2 lightweight and Maximet. Now, see, I have mine's in Spy 27. I want some Maximet. And I like the Manix 2 so much, I, I might just jump on that. Nice Fast is working on the idea. He said, we shall see. Rene Ramon said, does the Warnatech have a backspacer? It does not. Now, I don't know if that's something that you can do secondarily. It has standoffs. Which are very nice. Very, very nice. And it's a reversible clip. Man, a titanium knife with milling and a reversible clip. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and last I heard which it could be different now. There were only three of the blacked out versions left. And you can go right now on NAF sale. We were just on NAF sale. You can go to NAF sale and pick one up right now. Check that out. Dwayne K said, I've been wanting something in Maxima, but no extra fundage right now. I like it when people change words. I really do. Custom EDC and knives. E I, I keep adding words. Custom EDC knives. I can't thank you enough for this this generous gift. I mean, I really, really do love this knife. I hated to package it up. I checked it out and was looking at it and feeling of it. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I put it back in the box. I put some puffies in there and I put some stickers and stuff. And then I was like, I put the tape over. It's like, okay, can't see you anymore. Dude, that was, that was a really big surprise. You took my breath away. Baby girl said, I need a new knife bees. Baby girl needs a new knife. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. What Dugan thinks that just got three knives on NAF sale. The Kaiser Squidward, Best Tech Bahai, uh, Bihai, and the CRKT Rip Snort. Rip Snort. Ooh, um, I had the CRKT uh, Bihai out earlier today. Um, just so you know, throughout my day, I go through a lot of knives as I'm doing anything. Because I will squirrel. I'll, I'll come down here to grab something and I'll, I'll be like, oh. And I get in, you know, 10, 15 seconds of checking out a knife. And then I go back to what I was doing. BFV Gunner said, I'm trying to decide what NAF lander scales I need to get since the old glory is OOS. Big Doug, Big Doug said, knife or food? Guess I'm losing some weight. There you go, man. You'll feel better. I was get, I got to the point where like I had to go sideways to tie my, my boots. You know, I could just go down forwards to tie my boots. And I was like, that's it. Quitting with the sweets and stuff. I'm losing some weight. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Um, let's see. So I'm I've lost 46. Uh, Naf, Naf, knife wife said I'll be I'd be all over black and rose gold. Oh yeah, that would look cool. Mrs. B's would be on that too. She'd definitely be on that. So here, here, here is the Kato KT Griffin. This is the KT Griffin, and they are, they were on pre-order. They're up for sale now. And I, I showed this one on the channel this week. My video is out on this. Very tactical. And when I was holding it like this, I was like, okay. But then when I held it backwards, I realized, yes, this was definitely made by a tactical thinking person. And hold the bus. The honey has just got warmed up again by custom EDC knives. Said, I should just allow everyone to choose their custom color theme they want on the Warn Attack just to see all the variations. Dude, could you imagine? But you know what? 
that's what that's what CJRB did with the pyrite. They came out, you know, every time you come out with a color, people are like, well, I like that, but I wish this. They're killing it with the pyrite because they, they got a good knife and they're making a bunch of different versions of it. Yenzer said, is there pizza? I was told there were there we were getting pizza. Dude, I have some leftover uh, Papa John's upstairs, man. Black and venom green would look sweet. Oh, by the way, I just opened up an ice cold Coca-Cola and I'm going to give you a little ASMR. Had to do a refill. Custom EDC knife said, baby girl, I might do that, that color theme. BFV Gunner said, you're a bad man, bees. I have a knife in my back pocket. Any, you know, just for fun, does anyone have a guess of what knife I have in my back pocket? It's a knife I asked your opinions on something about. Lord Gillespie said, reverse tux. What's up, Chef Rocky? He said, sup, suckers. Chef Rocky's in the hive. Um, you know what? I'm going to... Anybody want me to try one of these Turkish munchies that I got from Tot Dog? Look at this. It's turkey... Turkey... <laughs> Turkish munchies. Jim Miller said, I wish CJRB would do the echo like the pyrite. Dude, I, I'm all about the echo. I carry the echo a lot. I really do. I like the Echo, and my favorite of the two Echo versions is the Liner Lock. And I'm a sucker for Ray Laconico designs. I don't know if it's because I like the slender the slender designs or what. But I really... Re I mean, Missouri said Deviant. Ooh, I love the Deviant. Ken said, don't show the back pocket until Vu gets here. <laughs> All right, I'll give a sneak peek when Vu get, gets here and see if you guys can guess what, what knife's in my back pocket. Good idea. Ginzer said, Cole steal a spot of XL in the back pocket. Aaron B said, I'm waiting for a contoured titanium warney pyrite XL. Jacob Marshall said, my favorite CJRB is the Lago. It's sweet. Yes, that is a very good one. Knife Man said, not sure if you saw my question, but was wondering what's your opinion on Revo knives? On Revo knives is. Revo knives. Um, it's not ringing a bell. So... I would probably have to see him, but I I can't remember Revo Knives. I don't know that I've checked any out. Steve Owens, we've been a member for two months. He said, KC just dropped a challenge video to spread the word about the jet stream. Hey, KC dropping vids. Hey, um, speaking of other channels, did, uh, we probably it's probably too late. Did Metal Complex go live tonight? We Did we miss our chance to say hello to him? I like to say hello whenever he's live, but I think that has sailed. Um, Dwayne K said, I heard too much diet soda is totally bad for losing weight, but I love diet Pepsi. Well, I don't drink a lot of soda. I drink, I drink more on Friday nights than any time. It's kind of my, my, my uh, diet soda night. Metal complex was early. Ah, okay. Um, so here's, here's the first thing. Anybody ever heard of this? These are Turkish treats. Crispy tur tur tickly? <laughs> what? F F sane Bahart. I have no idea. It's some kind of crispy things. Yep, yep, yenny les it what? Yep, yenny les it tilly? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Brian F said, "Just need just need Justin at White Mountain Knives to do a custom Pyrite XL so I can finish off the set." Oh yeah, and here's some Yupo Yupo. Uh, these look like uh, some kind of gummy bear type deals. Yupo, and this thing is is full. This they pack so much in, in this stuff. Metal Complex had a three knife giveaway, and he ain't got nothing on us. We, we give over 200 knives away a year. What is this? Pizza cracker. Oh, now I know what that is. Pizza crackers. Hey, pizza. 
pizza. And thank you very much, Custom EDC Knives, for the five doll hairs. Um, freeze dried. What is this? Anybody know what this is? What kind of fruit is that? I don't know. Dwayne K said four knives. You left too early. <laughs> guava that might be good that might be something i'll try it's freeze dry. oh i just broke it whatever it is and there's a there's a thingy in here that says the caloric content and everything insur citrus uh what's this super roll super roll hazelnut this is pretty cool top dog it's like all these things i did that when we went to mexico i for my son and for us i went and just bought every kind of candy that was some kind of Mexican candy. Now this, I suspect, and I was thinking about maybe trying this on the live just to see. <sighs> Makes my mouth pucker just thinking about it. I have a sneaky suspicion that whatever this is, is very sour. In Inkig is fig. All right. So something has fig. Um, let's see what this is. What's up, Andrew Knapp? He said, hello, everybody. I'm late to the chat in the process of moving back to Ohio. Yeah, Buckeyes. Great fruit. Got any hash? Craig said. So here is, well, there's pot, potty, poti, poti. So that is this fruit cake. <laughs> is that what that is? That I see fruit down there and it feels soft like a cake. I'm intrigued. Melvin said, those are good. Uh, Rick Adkins said, did you just lose a bunch of weight? You're going to put it right back on Bravo snacks. Oh no. I, if I eat something, I, I want, I watch, I watch what I eat. EDC and Lay said hazelnut cho chocolate crisp tubes are one of my favorite snacks. Carrot and cinnamon fruitcake. Ooh, now this looks good. Caco, Crabelli, your fistig, whatever this, this looks like that would be good. Badolu. Those look good. That's right on my alley. It looks like some peanut and chocolate and and uh, we call those things wafers. Dwayne K said, "Love fruit cake, top dog, especially Claxton." Isn't fruit cake something that you just keep? Hey, Don Farmer with the five doll hairs. Don heating up the hive. <laughs> Betty Davis said, "Special brownies, a wa wafer bar." Oh, check this out. Here's a, a sin. Pork and I'm not even going to try to read this stuff. This looks pretty cool. Look, it has sprinkles. Chocolate sprinkles. That looks like a good snack. Thank you, Don Farmer, for the five doll hairs. That last was hazelnut crackers. Okay. And, uh-oh, another one of these. We ought to have Mrs. B's try one of these when she comes down with the puppy. Because that just looks, oh, that just makes me think it's going to be super sour. Vu fam said, I'm home, my lovelies. What's up, Vu? This, I don't know what this is, but it looks like it's, uh, they're, they're not hard. It's a soft, this cracker looking thing right here. I can feel it's not exactly hard. It's not exactly soft. There's that thing. LC, Turkish coffee lasted chocolate so you can't sleep tonight. Fruitcake that is moist is good. It has to have nuts in it. Alcohol optional. This looks good. Man, all these looks good. Harbu. Harby. Harby. That looks cut. That looks pretty good. Man, there's all kinds of options in here. Stroop waffle. A stroop waffle. Here's Greta. Now this looks like savory. It looks like some savory crack hairs. Yeah, look at that. You have um, some olive and some wine. You need some cheese with that wine. Laced chocolate. And last but not least, Kenneth Novich. What's up? With some Papios. I know what these are. Those are Pop Rocks. I had a, you know what? I ought to put some Pop Rocks in my mouth and do ASMR Pop Rocks. I should probably do that. Popping candy. Man, all kinds of uh sweets 
This looks pretty good. They all look pretty good. I'm kind of hungry. Mrs. B's went out on the town. Well, not really, but she went out with her friend tonight. So I was left to my own devices. Tonight was not pizza night. Wah, wah. PJ Crabtree said, Bees, I see you have an Old Lantern Classic Mini in the background. I purchased one on last month's Olight sale. It came in really handy last night in the blackout. Oh, dude. Yeah, I can't believe our power didn't go out. Yeah, the Old Lantern Mini is some sweet action. This thing is awesome. I like the Old Lantern Mini and the Old Lantern right here. And you get a lot of light, a lot of light for a long time. And you can use it as a backup for your phone if your phone's running low. Hope you had a good day, Vu fam. Yeah, you, I like a good storm. The puppy, not scared of the lightning at all. The big dog doesn't like it. He paces, he's nervous. Tyler Williams said Mrs. B should log in and say hi. Well... She, she thought about coming down early, but I don't, I don't know. Hopefully, she, it sounds very quiet up there. Ken Faulkner with the $10 here. <laughs> Ken, thank you for the $10 here, brother. Hey, Vu, uh, I was going to do a back pocket check, but Ken said I should wait for you. I'm not sure why. Uh, J-Rod said, B, did you get a mayhem? I have a mayhem on the way. And I have a mayhem over here that I can show you. I showed you guys last week. It's, uh, rinky dinky dink. I have some prototypes from Vasti that I can't share with you yet. Wouldn't you like to know what they are? I have a couple Vasti prototypes, but they're secret. It's a secret. I can't tell you. Man, I I got pop on this seat. Top Dog said, Vu asked bees for a knife butt check. <laughs> and don't forget, I appreciate, I see the hearts flying and the hundra, hundos. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to also hit the thumbs up button. Here's the mayhem. So what did they do? Did they sell them out in like 10 minutes or something? I think this was a very anticipated this is like the most uh, primo knife that Vostid has put out, and it is a mean mamma jamma. VCR Fine said, I just got the CMB Predator. It came with the worst action, but I took it apart, and now it works like a dream. Um, who was it? Somebody sent me a Predator that had really bad action. I took it apart, and when I put it, when I put it back together, it was flawless. Somebody that's in the chat sent me a Predator. And I put new springs in it and it just worked like a dream. And we gave it away. Yeah, this thing. <sighs> Jim Miller said it's storming here. So my internet is erratic. Steven Johnson said I'm flipping my new cold steel 8015. Love the scorpion lock. Dwayne K said, I remember that. Yeah, so this is a, this is a compression, a button compression lock. And I'll show you up here. So it has a compression lock like a lot of our knives do, except for you use a button on the opposite side to unpress the compression lock. Look at that. How's that? Dr. U, man, I'm telling you, he's a genius. He's a good, good knife designer. Lee, Lee, Lead Her, Hermelin said, just got my Lumi in the mail today. Absolutely love the action on that thing. Yeah, the Lumi, you probably you probably got that for 30 something dollars. Hey, everybody, don't forget, Savivi, they have their big sale going on right now. Use my link, go through my link, and you can use my 5% discount code. You can stack it on the 25% stuff already. Get Or 32%, you can get it stuff for 37% off. Just saying, if you're going to go get you a Civivi or you want a Civivi that are on sale, now's your chance because they only have sales like this once or twice a year, usually a couple times a year. Peter Miller said, I might even get the Warncliffe version of the Mayhem over the Sheep's Foot, usually the other way around, but I love the look of both of them. Me too. They both look so good. It's mean. And I love that, that brassy color, that yellow, goldish, brassish. 
Vu Fam said, can we see the mayhem in the pocket? Well, you know, I do have a, a knife in my back. I have to tighten my belt. My All of my pants, my belt, I have a Velcro belt, which has come in handy with losing this much weight because my, my pants fall off. My pants keep falling off. Time for a back pocket check. Doomsday Scouts is in the hive. So here is what's in my back pocket. Anybody know what's in the back pocket? In the badonkadonk? Voofam said, is that a knife in your back pocket? Or Level 1 Up said, Bees, can you show that new Kaiser original again? Yes, by all means, dude. It's a looker. And it's, gosh, it's so, you're not going to know you have this in your pocket. It weighs two ounces. Look at that. That is, that is some of the best carbon fiber I've seen. It's not just completely uniform. I like how the center has those like swirly, swirly gigs going on. Ken said a poop knife. Josh said some cake. Dwayne K said spider co. BFV Gunner said bees. I'm going to DSKFS a belt to you. Hey. Yeah, I don't um I don't have a, a leather belt, but I have this uh this velcro belt that I'm using. It is like looped all the way around because I don't have the belly I used to have. Uh 1903 said good evening. Bought my first knife on NAF sale this week, a Boker Plus Caracal fixed blade on its way, free shipping. Nice selection at decent prices. Thanks for the intro to NAF sale. There you go. NAF sales in the hive. So if anybody has any questions to NAF sale, by the way, if you're just getting in here, we're going to go to NAF sale again, but that's where you buy and sell your knives on the secondary market. Steve Owen said at two ounces, you might not know it's in your hand. Yeah. We're at two ounces. It disappeared. Yeah. Here's the new Kaiser original. There's a link in the description below. And I'm sure Stacy Bolster Blaze has been sharing the link with you too. This thing, it, weigh, it weighs nothing, but the weight of the blade. See, the other Kaiser Originals are good. But the, the back the backside, they're a little back heavy, just, just a little bit, and the blade feels like it's not there. With having the carbon fiber, it balances it out. It has a really nice balance. It doesn't feel back heavy. This is a great EDC knife. It's so good. K says that I got the Civivi sandbar should be in tomorrow. And so, you know, you can't use B's 10 code if you use Civivi points. Really? So you, so you, you can stack my code on top of stuff that's already on sale, but yeah, I didn't know anything about points. Good to know. Uh, Joe Casper said three minutes to queen bee. It is absolutely silent. I haven't heard a dog or anything. You normally there's all kinds of commotion going on up there. She she I might have to wake her up if it goes way past time. Eva Lee said, Bees, how long did it take you to lose 46 pounds? Um, I started paying attention to my weight at the end of February. So March, April, May, June, July. Um just we're about another week, it'll be five months. So it's about about two pounds a week is how it's been going. About 10 pounds a month. And I'm basically just going to go until my body says, okay, that, that's where you need to be. My, my body will tell me. I'm not, I'm, not like, I'm not starving myself or doing anything like that. I just quit eating all the sugar and junk I was eating. Dwayne K said, those are those new belts with the buckles with the square loop on both sides that uses friction to hold the belt are nice. Yeah, I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have this Velcro belt because the Velcro belt, you could just keep wrapping it around. It really came in handy. Uh, Dan said, hello all, came to see what all the buzz is about. Dude, you have missed so much, but I'm glad you're here and you can always rewind later. Craig Bunt said, X amount of Civivi points is worth X amount in coupon codes. Like 300 points gets you a $15 off coupon code. That is pretty cool. Evil Lee said, nice. Congrats, bees. Thanks, man. I feel a lot better. And I can lean straight over and tie my shoes. <laughs> I don't have to do the whole sideways thing. Uh, Kresk said, don't change your diet or it comes back. It's a lifestyle change. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's not a diet. It's just, you just quit eating the crap. It, that's it. Diets don't work because you'll, you'll quit. You have to just change your lifestyle. That is exactly right. Doomsday Scout said, I've been rocking a tactical belt for years. No belt holes for me. 
There you go. Yeah, mine is uh, mine's a Uncle Mike's belt, I believe. Five Eleven or Uncle Mike's? I think it's Uncle Mike's. And it's really nice, you know. It, I've been wearing these belts for years and years and years, and you know, you sit down, you get full, you can just. They're very, very adjustable. Baby girl said, "Congratulations, keep it up, bees." I absolutely will. Josh said, "It's good when you can see your pee pee again." <laughs> Level one up said, man, I want that original. I love my green, alu green aluminum. I love all the originals. I collect the originals. I have a collection. I have gray, green, black. Um, uh, I have I have fancy versions. Matter of fact, they are over in my Kaiser case at the moment. Otherwise, I'd show you. I have a collection of them. Robert Feely wears a groove belt. Easy to adjust. Dwayne K said, yep, if you don't change how you eat... Forget it. I've done it for years. I finally changed and lost about 60. Congratulations. Grace Jan Nargil said, what's up, bees? What's up, man? Hope you're having a knife, a knife night. Let me, uh, let me, let's get back to this. Cause I didn't get to see that all the stuff I wanted to see. We'll get, we'll do this before Mrs. Bees comes in. Ooh, Ooh, you know what? This is a really nice knife. I got to check one out, Grateful Panda, Grateful Panic. Um, when I was in the pass around a long time ago, he sent one to me, and it was a Monterey Bay's e -E -E EZC. And this, see, the, I, I if you ask me, Ray Laconico is designs that whenever I get one of his knives, I like it. I don't know if it, it must be the slenderness or something, but I like Ray Laconico designs. But this is a cool everyday carry knife. And that is a, that man, a hundred bucks. Wow. That is, that's a good one right there. That's, I like that. And that's even got the cool micarta. That's a perfect little everyday carry knife right there. Uh, Andrew said, is that an XL original? Uh, the one I was just showing you, let me see. I don't know what you guys are seeing on your screen. Um, let me do, let me see. Let me do this. And then I'll do this. Nope. Then I'll do this. Nope. Ah, uh, won't let me do what I want to do. Um, oh, that's different. Huh. That's very different. Let's see if I can go like this. I don't know. There's so many different little options of things I can do. Now I don't know what I'm doing. Why can't I go... Let me see. Full screen. Bear with me, folks. We're having technical stupidness. Let me bring my extra camera back. It works when I do that. Bear with me. We're just clicking all the options. Where did NAF sale go? I don't. Maybe if I bring it back, that's what we'll do. I'll stop the screen and bring it back. Top dogs asking for the puppy. Where's the puppy? I wonder if Mrs. Bees is asleep. Uh, BFB Gunner said, Caviso has the Laconico Mini Keen in 14C at a premium steel. Looks really good. Uh, Grace Jan said, his ergos are always good. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It, they always feel really good in the hand. So let's see if it showed it like it's supposed to. There we go. So there is a, there's a hot deal right there. That caught my attention. Monterey Bay, easy C. Here's a Smash Panda. A Civivi McKenna. There's a Tor Suitor. A Razorback Folder. Price drop. CRK Large Magna Cut Sabenza 31 Insigno. Six hundo. You know, I would love to have that knife, but six hundo is out of my price range. Oh, and Mrs. B's did her nails too. We got some MKMs going on. An MKM Asanzo Hawkbill. West Tech, welcome to Scout Bees. Everybody, welcome West Tech to Scout Bees. David Tooley said, both of my new kittens have drawn blood from my person within the last 10 minutes. I like the way you said that. From my person. Ooh, a Chavez Ultramar Redencion Street Drop. Love me some Chavez. Viper Barris. Benchmade Narrows 748 Axis Lock. 
So there's a bit, there's the new Benchmade Narrows. I've heard mixed reviews. Some people like it. Some people are like, whoa, don't like it. I think it just depends on the person. 485. Ooh, now that looks good. Look at the blade on that bad boy. Dan said, holy cannoli, that sheepdog has a clutch lock. I miss so much. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so the the I just dropped the video tonight. You should go watch my video to help support the vid. But yeah, I have what might, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has posted the new Kaisers. I may have been first or second getting the video out there. Um, Vu fam said pocket chat, the Kaiser brat and in, in integral G10 scales and 154 CM button lock flipper tab. Yes, that is on the table. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's on the table right here. There's the new Kaiser brat right there. Joe Casper said bees love my echo. I won from you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Justin Ohio said blink. Thank you for the blink reminder. And there you go. Top Dog just put up a link to the new five new Kaiser knives video. EDC and Lace said the Seb is worth it if you want perfect fit and finish and a lifetime last quality tool. Bill Doyle said, is the brat like a bratty kid or is a brat like you put a grill, you put on a, oh, a brat. <laughs> I had brat, I had brats tonight. Mrs. B's went out with her uh, friend. And so I had habanero brats or was it habanero or the other pepper? I don't know. One of them. It was, they weren't hot. Betty Davis said, I need to win the lottery. Yeah, I can hear you on that. But anyway, if you didn't know, NAF sale is where you go if you have knives and you want to maybe do an upgrade and you want to sell a couple knives, go to NAF sale, post them on there. They'll send you, you know, you don't have to do the selling. They'll take care of it. And then you can see people will get rated by the buyers. You'll, there's a five-star rating. This person has been rated eight times and they have a perfect five stars. So that means they shipped out what they were supposed to ship out. NAF sale will send you the shipping stuff. They take care of it. Their cut is 7% and they take care of everything. All you have to do is slap a label on that they send you and ship it to the, the person that bought it. Tactica K100 pocket knife. I've never heard of that. Never heard of Tactica. Huh. Interesting. It looks like it has some good texture on the G10. Donald said Orion Cetus or Best Tech Cetus and go. Um, I can't remember if I have a Best Tech Cetus or not. I think I might. Notorious EDC AGP pouch. All good pouch. Custom Knife Factory Evo 3.0. Man, someday. Someday. Somewhere. Look at that. Oh, my Lanta. That is just absolutely beautiful someday maybe but not in my range there's a hey, right there's a hiccup you want to get you a hiccup a kaiser hiccup 70 bones 70 doll hairs chris reeves small sabenza faux hundo there's some pretty sweet knives in here on naf sale now um, i want to check out one more thing Fifth try, does NAF sales service international customers? Hector O wants to know. Eva Lee said, Bees, did you give up carrying your grind? No, I did not. I still carry it too. I, I cycle through a ton of knives in any given week, just so you know. I want to see what's down here in the budget friendly because I'm all about the budget. Jason Horn said, did you see my NAF sale listing for the Gerber Paul? I thought it should have posted about an hour ago. Um, I mean, there's a lot on NAF sale. I didn't see it. There's a V nice grip tied for $20, $20 hairs. I bet the, I bet all the, the knives on this section just go so fast. There's a bird meadow lark for 27. That's some cool looking scales. A little bit of GRN FRN going on. Oh, and look at that. Avocado lanyard. That's from Alicord Paracord. Uh, nice fast set. Got to run later. Bye, Mr. B's. Bye, bye, KC. You have a good night, man. John Todd Stewart said, love the show. Thanks, man. I hope you've, I hope you've been here all night. Oh, there's a K-Bar Dozier. 
for 30 bucks. There's a nice little lightweight EDC. CRKT Jettison. 30 doll hairs. All right. So um, I'm not going to read them all, but everybody give us, give us a pocket check. What's up? Paper Tiger. Paper Tiger's in the hive. Um, oh, oh, oh. Here's the Aries. Love me some Trevisa. I'm going to give you a close up of the Aries. Look at that. Would you just look at it? I think, oh, I hear movement. I hear, I hear a little bit of movement. So something might be in the works. Derek Poppenhagen with the super sticker, the 10 doll hairs. Derek with the 10 doll hairs. Got the honey warmed up in this hive, helping with the shipping. About went broke today. Thank you very much. Dwayne K said, bees, you need to request some win plus knives from them to test. They are awesome and have a unique lockup system. Dwayne, I know that I can trust that you'll send me an email to remind me because that's the only way I can keep track. Here's the only thing. I love Instagram. Instagram needs to make it so you can search chats because I'll be like, who was it that told me about whatever? And I'll go and I'll look and I'm like, I can't remember who told me. Dwayne K is always good about tell, letting me know stuff like that. Aaron B said, large Sabenza Magna Cut drop point with Madagascar, Ebony Inlays, and the Maximet Pair 3. Um, so here is the Trevisa Aries. I believe this is the zero. I can't remember. It's in the description. Look at the wood. I've got wood. That is some good looking wood right there. And everybody look at your screen. This is everybody's posting the knives that they carried today or that they're flipping and flicking right now. And I believe this might be 10 CR Damascus. It could be a nine CR. It's a really good looking knife. I'm about to flip it upside down. J rod said, that's what she said. And you can reverse flick this too, by the way. Love that blade shape. And that's some really, I'm not a huge Damascus fan, but there are some Damascus variants that I like. This one is pretty cool. It almost looks wood grain. Double T Detents got the Manix 2XL, just got delivered today. And Tops fell any stop on the belt, playing with the EXOM right now. Rewind had the Manix 2 and the SOG Power Pint. I hear little tappity tap tap feet upstairs, y'all. Just giving you a pre warning. And here's the Orion Knife Cetus. I like the Cetus. I, I'm trying to remember what the concept Cetus looks like. I'd have to Google it real quick. Tech Chat carried the Kaiser Roach. Still one of his favorites. Uh, a, dog, a little doggy bed just flew down the stairs, just so you guys know. it's Something's happening. Derek Poppenhagen, thank you for the $10 hairs. And here's the new, just keeping cycling through them. This is the new Kaiser Sheepdog with the clutch lock. And if you don't know what the clutch lock is, it is... A crossbar lock right here, this right here, but you can adjust the tension. You can adjust how light or how strong. It has three spots on the inside. It's really easy to take the scales off, and you can adjust, like, if you like it lighter, maybe um, there's, I hear this, I've heard this so many times, some folks with arthritis, some folks that have lessened dexterity in their hands, things like that, they need a little lighter detent. Me, I like it. I like it kind of stiff. <laughs> um, this, it came on the middle, the middle notch, I believe. And I like it right where it's at. I like it like that. Ooh, baby. Aaron B said, want to hear a solid water joke? Yes. Something about ice. Vu Fam said, I'll make a disassembly video tonight. Vu Fam is always good for the dis. Hey, Vu Fam, I have a question for you, man. Did you watch my Kaiser video tonight? You may want to. You specifically, you may want to. Just saying. Betty Davis said bees really love that one. Yeah, the purple looks so good. I'm per I'm gonna just double check in. Um, I think I double checked. I think it's on the middle one, but I don't know if I'll be able to show you the ends. Let me put this on. Uh, I just blinded myself. All right, so let me see if I can get light in here just right to show you the inside. See down there? See those three holes right there? That's where you can adjust 
the spring that's inside of the scale. And I'm talking slow because I'm concentrating. But right on the inside there, there are three holes. And everybody's doing their pocket checks right now. And there was some dust in there already. So I'm going to get my handy dandy little uh, thingy here. Craig Bunt said five holes, isn't it? Uh, this one has three. This one has three. Ladies and gentlemen. As a, a dramatic pause, because I'm trying to clear the screen. What's up, puppers? Bogart is in the hive. Ugh! The puppers. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. Bogart is in the hive, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the big puppers. Look at the big boy. Did he just get up from a nap? Ugh. Oh, hey. Hey, look here. Look. What is this? What is that? What is that? What is it? Oh, my goodness. All right. You guys, hey, dude, what is your deal? So we've been showing him every week and documenting him growing up. Oh, give me that back leg. There you go. Dude, What? he's got like wild hair. He's on crack tonight. He's driving me. He was so quiet. So there is Bogey. There's the Bogart. The Bogart puppy. Look at the Bogey boy. The Bogart. He's getting so big. Look how big he's gotten. Golly. You're such a big boy. He's such a big boy. He's just interested in what mom's doing. Ugh. Ken Faulkner said, Bees demonstrates knife safety with the dog. He's such a good puppers. Look at that. You're YouTube famous. You're YouTube famous. He's such a good boy. J-Rod said, he's looking for that treat. James Alton said, you won't hold him like that soon, I know. <laughs> yeah, his ears are getting a little more of the color like Berkeley. Yeah, he's getting, getting a little more, a little more of that gold color. He does. Oh, look! What is your deal? He has. Look at his eyelashes. All he wants to do is see what mom's doing. Why are you being such a wild child? Oh, there we go. He just see. He just wants to see what mom's doing. He's he's wagging his tail. That's a way to get him to look at the camera. Oops, he's watching mama. Donald said, see if Bogey wants a Turkish treat. Josh said, I love how the pup was focused on the knife. Yeah, look at this. Mrs. Bees hasn't seen this one yet. He's a knife retriever. What is that, huh? P and W said we need Bogart stickers. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh my gosh, he's getting big. I know. Ridiculous. You are getting ridiculously big. His attitude tonight is. Is it Henri? Ugh, he's on something. What's your deal? I think his goal is just to annoy mother. Bogey, you go boy. <laughs> Mom's annoyed at him. He's a mama's boy. Roll that, roll that beautiful bean footage. BFV Gunner said, dogs can see purple, can't they? Chris Hinkle said, of course he liked the knife with the dog. Oh, he's just a little puppy. Hi, everyone. Oh, there's Jeezy, Mrs. Bees is in a hive. He's coming in hot. You want to say hi, Mrs. Bees? Oh, yeah, Mrs. Bees is going to give us a, a dinner check, and she may or may not have some new nailage going on. 
This is Mrs. B's, if you're new. Hi, I'm Glenn B's. I almost said I'm related to that guy. <laughs> Hi, turd muncher. Thank you. Thank you. Do not get my glasses dirty. Hello, bees, gliders. Better halves in the hive. Yeah, he's being a good boy for you guys. Man, I let him out to go peyote. He peed. We came back in. No, we went out. We peed. Walked around, walked around, walked around, walked around. See if he had to go poop a rooski. Nothing. So I was like, you know what? Going back inside. You didn't see any prairie dogging going on? No. So we get in and I hook him up. And he's staring at the door barking. I don't know if it's because he could hear you. I don't know. Oh, uh, probably. I don't know. But you, sir, are just... Hey, don't forget, y'all, to hit the thumbs up button. Ridiculous. Pucker. Hi, Ken. Puppy kisses. Uh, somebody said uh, you, can't, you can't come to the hive without your nails did. I do have my nails did. Mrs. B's for nails check. They may or may I'm going to look the puppy down for a minute. Match oh. the color of my post-it notes at work. Uh, they're like a what color would you call these? Kind of a gold. Is you it? know what? Um, look at this. What are we looking? You at? could color court. Um, well, maybe not. No. I I, I thought it was going to be closer than that. No. Close but no cigar. Clear gold. Yeah. Have you seen the new Sheep's Foot Civivi Elementum? It can be seen on the Civivi site in the coming soon tab. Yes, that looks like a pretty cool. I like I like the looks of the blade and it's a uh, hologram. Vastid. Huh? Vastid orange. Vastid orange. Corn yellow. Banana yellow. No, it's not banana yellow. It's like a... Schoolbush yellow? No, it's kind of like an orangey yellow. Do you have any orange? Uh, here's here's an orange knife. Here's the... Uh, I was going to say orange sticky notes, but... Here's the best tech been Ronin. See what it looks like with that. Nope. 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 It's getting close. What is that? Uh, this is the Shielden Relicanth. This one looks like it might be close. That's close. Probably because I picked it myself. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. VCR Fine said I was going to buy a Ronin. It's a good one. Newcastle Ninja says her nails match my new yellow raccoon. Yellow raccoon. Um, Mango yellow. We all uh, live in a yellow submarine. Here, here's the new yellow raccoon. Orange cream sickle. I've got so, so many different variants, but we still haven't got it yet. No, that's too yellow. Orange creamsicle. Orange creamsicle. I think I think you've come up with your your own knife color. It's a sticky note. Um, See, let me show you. Too yellow. Too yellow. There's the petrified fish. I can't remember the name of it. See, I think this, there's my nail. Vu Sam, Fam said, hello, my lady. Hello, Vu. See, there's my nail, and there's an orange sticky note. I think it matches. Anywho. Gentle. Craig Bunt said, yo, Mrs. B's, how about those double negatives? I was telling you, asked me about a double negative question. What was it? You asked me if something was a double negative. Oh, it was about the gloves. There's a photo of gloves. And it said, how many hands do not not have gloves on? Yeah. So the knots canceled out. So it would be who was wearing gloves. You know? Yeah, something like that. P&W said, I think Mrs. B's had tacos for dinner due to hanging out with her friends. Hey. You are correct. Did you have tacos? I didn't have tacos. I went to agave and rye. It's called agave and rye. Sounds Apparently very fancy. it's new and bougie. Two, two double negatives don't make a rye. It is a whiskey 
what is it? Oh, it's a tequila and bourbon place. Um, I will tell you the, the taco I had. I have to look it up first. Uh, Bees, did you see that Lee is releasing a premium baby banter line? Uh, no, I did not. A premium baby banter line. Can I help you? That, yep, that's mine. Andrew Cap said, has everyone heard of the new donut raccoon coming soon? Yes. Have you heard of the new raccoon that likes to eat donuts coming soon? Wow. <laughs> Every Ooh. single one of them. Ooh. You are getting so big. It's ridiculous. He's even getting the, the golden retriever fold under his, under his neck. He's vicious. They have really good queso. Just so Steve you know. Owens said, I don't know nothing about no double negatives. Wayne said, blink, bees. Thanks, man. Okay. So I had a grilled crispy chicken burrito. The first bite I took was so spicy, it almost gave me hiccups. I actually could show them what it looks like because I have half of it upstairs in the refrigerator. So it is chopped crispy chicken, mac and cheese, sweet and spicy bacon, queso, white cheddar, um, barbecue jam, barbecue ranch, and then it comes with dipping sauce. Yeah. With dipping sauce? Yeah. Dipping sauce oh. is kind of like a, it like hits you with the sweet and then it's like, bam, spicy. Who needs Q-tips when you have a pup? A pup um, chup. BFB Gunner said, that sounds excellent. I mean, it was so good. Oh, and then it had like a... <laughs> J-Rod said, does it come with a bottle of Tums? Onion straws or whatever you call on top. It was really good. And then I had a strawberry virgin margarita. And that was... Also tasty. Also tasty. Tasty. Betty Davis said we had pigs in a blanket and French fries. That sounds good. And then my friend had pulled pork mac and cheese. A taco. So it was a crispy shell. Slathered, smothered. Is that the same thing? Yeah. yeah. So you had a crispy taco and then it was like. Swooped. Wiped. That sounds gross. <laughs> Wiped in <laughs> in the uh, refried beans, and then I had a soft taco on the outside. Ken Faulkner said shoestring onion rings. Those are good. Dwayne K said the enormous breakfast burrito from Taco Bell is awesome, and it's enormous. Laura said I cook at home because I can't afford to eat out. Yeah, it was. Eva Lee gained five pounds just listening to that. Huh. I think I gained 20 pounds just reading it and eating it. I ate half of a half. It was the biggest burrito I've ever seen in my life. Greg Maroney said Ontario Knife Company, he believes, was sold for $2.1 million. Thanks, Robert Vance. What's up, Bill M? Uh, Robert Vance said very nice nails, Mrs. B. I know. I just thanked him for it. Sir, I just want to take out all of his teeth so he aren't needly. Ugh. Sir, I wonder if they make teeth mouth guards for dogs, you know, like 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 wrestlers ah. wear. What you, he means is just like little, little insert things like you put on just cat like claws. Little mushrooms, not mushrooms, marshmallows to go on the tip of his teeth. Just Whoever bought that for so cheap is lucky. John Blackman said tacos ah. with guacamole, tomato, onion and lettuce. That sounds good. She had like corn salsa and some other salsa. Fook Doosley, what's up? Oh, sir. Knife man said the dog is so freaking adorable. You look, wanna, look how you big his legs are while? compared to him. His his look at the I paws ate. on this dude. You know what we should do? We should look at set, those paws. We should set him in the chair and then tell all of the people to just babysit him for a little bit. Yeah. Sir, stop. Hi, Stasa. What's up, Stasa 23? Have you lost any teeth yet? Uh, I don't think he's going to lose teeth till what, five months? I don't know. He's only three and a half months. I kind of forgot, okay? I feel like we've had him for look how years. Big his, look how big his feet are. Years and his, years. His, 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 he's at an awkward stage where he's like growing, he's getting taller and growing, his body's getting longer. I'm, I'm at an awkward stage. <laughs> That's funny. 
dun, dun. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, big boy, love the white lashes. Yeah, he has big old eyelashes. Check him out. Check him out. Look at that. He has eyelashes. You have eyelashes. You have eyelashes. You want to get down for a minute there, Skippy Doo Dah? Scotty H gave you $5 hairs. Scotty H with the five doll hairs. Oh, I got a hair on my shirt. Oh, no. Oh, no. How tragic. There, there's your chew toy. Thank you, Scotty H. Mrs. B's got some stickers. I did. Look at this guy. He looks slightly crazed. Da Why would they do that? Does he not look like he's... Ah! You know it mean? looks like he got into some some uh, edible edibles. Craig Bunce said giveaway time. So Ontario Knife Company was sold. Very, very interesting. I'm trying to decide which one of these little treats over here to try. I know. I the Turkish these. treats from Top Dog 8762. And I know what 8762 stands for. Do you? Yep. Newcastle Ninja said, well, there seems to be an absence of a certain ornithological piece, a headline regarding mass awareness of a certain avian variety. H haven't you heard? Dude, Newcastle Ninja, you're a man after my own heart. <laughs> I know exactly. Bird is the word? Bird is the word. Question. <laughs> Have any of you ever Freeze had boba tea? I Bo think that's how you Boba Fett? It. Boba tea, or however you say it. Is it good? It's the stuff that has like those things in it. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, we you all have been slacking on the likes tonight. It's nothing. It's like tea with like a Bo bobbly. Uh, what are those things called? I don't, all I can think of is I don't know. Here, here's your bed. So here's we your... got it's legit. It's very meh. It's delicious. It's good, but you got to be careful. Tapioca balls. That's it. Yeah. Boba. Boba. Excellent. I feel like we need to try it. Orbeez. But I just don't know. You want you want to try a pot poti? I think this is probably like, a, um, what do you call it? Like fruitcake. You're a fruitcake. <laughs> You're a fruitcake. We have all these Turkish treats from Top Dog, and I don't know what this one looks like a pecan pie, but it's actually chocolate sprinkles. Is this the one that's a fig? Avocado! BFV Gunner said freeze dried figs, bees. Which one? Bees freeze dried? Is, is he chewing on something? I don't know. Probably. Do I really I just care don't know what he's moment? doing over there. You got to watch this dog like a hawk. Piece of paper. Yeah. I didn't even look. I just reached in and grabbed yeah, it. Yeah, cake. Yeah. Dwayne Case at 8726 is 7.62 by 51 sniper round, which is also a 308 Winchester equals 0.8762. Stasa said we had those Indonesian <laughs> treats on my channel the other day. Oh. Hey. Do you have an even grow CH3504? If so, what are your thoughts? CH3504. Not that I know of. I don't... CH3504, is that it? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's... it's There's a very good chance it's been on the channel. Is that even grow? Figs are in that fruitcake thing. Ah. Where's the other dog? Um, Big Man is upstairs. He does not travel downstairs very well. So Stasa had some of this stuff going on. So he just... The figs look like grapefruit. Takes a moment. Baby girl wants you to try a sour ball. Oh, I'm not a sour person. <laughs> I mean, I'm a sour person, but not... The CH3504 is great. Some have a skull on them. Huh. The CH3504. I like I'm just showing like random... Yeah, sh show your random stickers. That's what's fun. Stickers. Um, CH3504 knife. Let me look at it. Ah, that's very hunchy. That's a pretty cool looking knife. I don't think I've seen that one. Don't believe it. Unless that's one that I have in a box to review. I think this one's really cute. You stay over here and chew on your toy. He's like a little 
He's a little gremlin. But like, what's growing out of his head? He's got like a little plant. He has a plant growing out of his blowhole. Duck knife sticker. Blowhole? It's a corky. I know. Are you... Here you go. Oh no. This would be different, wouldn't it? Slightly better. <laughs> Fig orange lemon. All right. I'm going to try this just because I like people seem to know about the poti. You can do it. Get it? Encourage mint. It's a mint. He heard me open this package. Now he's interested. Of course he is. All right. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to try the poti. I will leave you with this last. It's a, is that a balloon? I think it's a peach. Plum. Peach. Pear. Plum. 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 That's a plum. Like this. Get out of there. Hold on. You need to quit getting into stuff, Rowdy, 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 Rowdy Piper. This is the stack of stickers that I got. And that's not even all of them. I have more on the back of my Kindle. But yeah, fun, fun facts. Very so Stasso, what what kind of what one of the weird foods that you had not weird but imported foods? What it was good that you liked? This is Pody. Want to try it? Part grape. Of it? Somebody said grape. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. We're not on vacation. I don't try weird things. Ah. <laughs> um, it tastes good. It tastes uh, almost like it has a little bit of lemon in it. Like lemon cake. What's in it? Is that a raisin? Um, I think it's fig or something. Is it's a little dry, but it's pretty good. I, BFB Gunner likes the duck knife sticker. What do you find to chew on now? I don't know. When he's bad, he's yours. What are you eating? Shriek Cunningham said, "Be careful, you can end up in the potty." The wife wants some mint stickers. Ken Faulkner said, "It's time to get this potty started." He's you eating the floor. It is pretty good. It's like lemon cake. Ooh, you know what sounds real good right now? What? That lemon pound cake from uh from Starbucks. Yes. Give me a piece of that. Dwayne K said they did not like the little beef broth balls or whatever it was. Potty. What a strange word. Sounds like something you can catch. Potty. Prune bread. Did somebody say potty? G Rod said pr prune bread. Figs will help you make a nice poo poo. Betty Davis said giveaway time. Um, I didn't. Yeah, I I didn't put together a uh, swag pack, prunes but you guys. Good, but not prune juice. You guys know how good the swag packs are. They'll be a good swag pack. Um, mm. Before What's we do the that, word under potty on the wrapper, potty. Potty. Um, potty. Potty. P um, potty. No, maybe if I ate it. Expires. Twelve. Ex expires in December, so we're good. You didn't have to eat it. All you had to do was just fold it over and look at it. Mm. May, May Valley? So it looks like a couple things on there. Looks like lemon, orange, and whatever that is. Terry T-Rex! Terry! Hello! Bees Blader! I was just listening to you chew, wondering if everyone else could hear you chew. Oh, yeah, probably, because the microphone is <laughs> literally right next to my mouth. I know. That's great. You don't spell it. You eat it. That's a fig. It's a fig. There you go. Hi, Derek. Don't you have figs upstairs? I have dates. Dates. Are those dates? I don't know, but you're, I think you're too scared to try them. <laughs> I kind of am. We've had, we've had the package of dates for a while. Well, good thing they're... And they're still sealed. They're valid until, like... 2094. Um, you want to come up with a hashtag? Oh. Um, I don't know. D did you guys get us to 250 or 300 likes? Fig, orange, lemon, and grapes. Your quiche looked good. Oh, Dwayne K saw our quiche on Instagram. Quiche, quiche, quiche. It was good. It was pretty good. I think it actually tasted better the second day than the red hot out the oven. I have to keep him on a short leash. Is that where that turn came from? I have to keep you on a short leash. <laughs> this little dog gets into everything. Oh, um, Dates and guava fruit. Cake with fruits. Guava. 
cake with fruits. Isn't that a, a fruit cake? Gava, guava. Is it gava or guava? Justin Ohio said, I saw I seen your keister earlier. Keister. Keister. I showed a back pocket check. Oh, nobody. I don't think anybody guessed what knife I had in my back pocket. I'm sure Vu knows without even having to look. I mean, Vu looked, but I, I think he forgot to look at the actual knife. Got distracted by the dump truck. By the dump truck. Let's see. Chef Rocky said, love to you and yours. Thank you, Chef Rocky. Hello. Vu says, there was a knife. <laughs> Speaking of not, oh yeah, I, I could have... Could have done this. Um, man, my brain is not firing on all cylinders. I actually fall asleep on the chair. I would say couch, but we don't have one. Yeah, we don't have a couch. That's a whole debacle. Oh, I'm so mad. We're a little mad at the furniture place. I'm a little bitter. Um, Mrs. B, tell them about what we did Tuesday night. What did we do Tuesday? <sighs> It took us two hours or so. Oh, oh. we uh, threw away our couch. Yeah, but it, it's so this couch I got from my brother and sister in law. It was the equivalent of two normal sized couches plus a chase lounge, all connected, and it was the color of turd brown. It was. It was turd brown. It was turd brown. Kind of looked like it came straight out of the intestine. Stop chewing that. Um, luckily, it came apart in three pieces. We had to somehow, I don't know how they got this thing in-house the first time around. Uh, I was, was not home for that. It was a lot of work. We had to get it out of the house, wrapped in plastic, and out to the end of the street. Because... And not in that order. Wednesday was the day our new couch was being... Delivered. And we also scheduled a bulk pickup so we for got, Wednesday. So we had to take the couch out. So we got the couch out. Bulk item picked it up. No joke at 6.05 because I watched them in my house coat. <laughs> um, I believe the seat is one side is titanium. One is stainless steel. I believe. Couch gone. I'm like, dun, 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 new couch pickup. Really excited about it. Around... What, what time? One? Yeah. Maybe around one o'clock, I get a call. Hi. Is this Mrs. Yeah, I was like, yes, this is she. This is so-and-so from this couch place. I uh, just want to let you know that the couch was not on the truck. Excuse me. What? Yeah, we're hoping it'll be on the next truck on the 28th. Right? Yes. 28th? Well, the first time they were supposed it was supposed the to be here the 14th. It was supposed to be on the 14th. Then it was supposed to be delivered on the 19th. And now they're saying the 28th. So Stasa, one side I'm pretty sure is titanium and the other side is stainless steel. So we have no couch. But we do have two overstuffed chairs. The lock bar side is stainless steel, and that is why it doesn't have to have a lock bar insert. Or, yeah, it doesn't have a lock bar insert because this, the lock bar side is steel, whereas this side is titanium, I believe. Anybody feel free to correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, so we had nothing to, nothing to sit on, and that is not cool. Nate, uh, Dwayne K said, I saw a native of some country on a food show open a candy package from YouTube channel host by holding it in his mouth and cutting it open with like a 14-inch knife. Yep, sounds about right. Michael Wait. Warren said you have the patience of a saint. Vicky says no couch. Where does Bert sleep? He Yeah, the dog's not happy. not happy. So when I'm sitting in the chair, he'll come over and like kind of boop the chair with his snoot, kind of like, Can I come up, Mom? Am I allowed to? And I tell him no, because there's not enough room. And he just gives me the saddest eyes. And like in the morning, he's always sleeping on the couch. Now he just looks like a pile of potatoes on the floor. It's sad. Oh crap! Where'd he go? Uh, he's over there. You grab. Oh, 
He's probably going towards the cat food. He's going after the giveaway stuff. Come here. The snoot boops. Come here. Good boy. That was a good boy. He is a good boy. Sometimes. His tail looks very dark at the tip. His uh, his ears, somebody mentioned in the chat, his ears look like they're getting darker. Your ears aren't about to get darker. BFV Gunner said, we'd have no place for clothes if we didn't have a couch. Eric Lyon said, we bought a love sack sectional instead of a vacation with COVID. Ooh. And it took two days to put it together. I wanted a love sack real bad, but that's real expensive. Is that the thing where you can adjust it anywhere you want it? Yeah. It's like all sections come apart. And now you can get it and you can get He's like move the table. surround surround sounds in the in the cushions. Like you can get speakers in the cushions. So it's like oh wow. Theater. Um hey, by the way, you all, if if you are subscribed to Bees Blades and you didn't click for notifications, I've noticed not many people have notifications selected. Um it shows the percentage of people that have notifications set. So that means you're not getting notified when my new videos are coming out. So you're not seeing them till later if you're seeing them at all. So go to where it says subscribed under Bees Blades and tap that and it'll show you notifications. So that way, if I, I pop a video out at noon at lunchtime, you can watch something at lunchtime. I usually do around 730 I popped one out tonight just after 7.30 a.m. with the new Kaisers and the new Kaiser Brat. This is the new Kaiser Brat. I have a link in the description, of course, because every penny counts. And the whole, it is an integral. There is no seam in the back. This is G10. And I would imagine they'll probably come out with a, uh, a Primo one. But look at that. The thing that impresses me the most about it is the fact that it, it, it comes down and stays in the blade and doesn't bounce out. That's the thing I, that that just gets my attention all day long. Something that I just, I don't know, I'm kind of, get, I'm getting used to it is the G10 kind of has a tink sound. Plastic? Yeah. Steve Owen said, winning a giveaway is like getting pregnant. Usually happens when you give up. Keish has always tasted... Uh, Alicorn said, "Quiche always tastes better the second day." Yeah, we we uh we had it. You had it the next day. I had, it and I had it two days later. Technically, I had it the day after because we made it Saturday, and I took it to work Monday morning. All right, I gave you. BFV Gunner said the scalloping is very cool. Five options. So Mrs. B's gave me some options. I don't like any of them. So, and they. Uh, they skimped on the jimps. They did that soft jimping. I don't know why they did that, but they did skimp on the jimps. It's not very rough. Dwayne K said, Vu, I saw your unboxing, but have you done a disassembly of the brat? Yes, he did do a disassembly of the brat. And I did talk about Vu fam in tonight's Kaiser video. What? Thomas Wheeler says, I'm here to chew bubble gum yeah. and win something. I'm all, but I'm all out and I'm all out of bubble gum. Sorry, I was reading that as a short angle. Who says, I finished, I just finished watching. Vu, Vu fam watched it in two seconds. Cheese. I shouted out. I told people to go subscribe to Vu fam. Cheese grater. Ooh, cheese grater makes me think of cheese, which then makes me think of cheese and crackers. And then that makes me think of those olives we got. Oh, yeah. He doesn't like olives. Well, I like black olives. Green olives. You know, did you like the ones we got, though? As long as I ate it with a bite of when I ate it with the what did we what did I eat it with? What do we have it with? Turkey burger? No, I don't know. All right, uh, let's see. Let me put a banner up here. Banner. Get your banner. Uh, Eric Lyons says, Bees, I mentioned you in a video my dad and I made about the cormorant. I mentioned the one you died. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Eric Lyons. LC, yeah, says green olives with blue cheese in the center. Mm. 
we had green olives with feta cheese in the center. That's what was in the center. It was so Hey, good. somebody tell me, isn't feta cheese, isn't that one of the cheeses that goes in lasagna? Lasagna, if you don't. Lasagna. Uh, Eric says the channel is Mountain Lions Mentality. Mountain Lions Mentality. If you want to go check out his video that he shouted you out about dying. If we can write yeah, it down. Yeah, I would love to write that down for you. Uh, Richard Kaufman said, if you want a real surprise, pick up a PF Bunta. Yeah, the Petrified Fish Bunta for the price is a, an absolute winner. It's It's like, I don't know, 32 bucks or something. It is a fantastic knife. I really like it. It has great action. And the it is as drop shetty as a knife gets. Should I show them on the stickers? Uh, Michael Warren said that's a ricotta. Or he said ricotta. Ooh, barracuda. Ricotta cheese. Ricotta. I like ricotta. Everyone's saying no couch. No couch potato. No couch. No soup for you. Ooh, his ears are so soft. It just makes me want to like grip my teeth. You just want to squeeze them. Oh, you so just want to squeeze them. Um, the question is. What's the question? Oh, sorry. I got distracted. How did you say this house tag? This hashtag is no couch. No couch. No couch. Ricotta and mozzarella in lasagna. Ricotta and mozzarella. Baby girl said, I need to win a knife and stickers. I never win. Eric Lyon said, I dyed mine a, a muted teal color and plan to put out a quick video on how it went dyeing it for me. Dude, teal color looks cool on knife. My uh, teal Manix 2 is upstairs. Hopefully, StreamYard is keeping up tonight. It seems to be doing pretty well. Don't jinx. It. Josh said, I always lose. Akeem said, I think I misspelled it the first time. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you only need, please only do it once. You will overload StreamYard and it won't count. So just do, just do the hashtag one time. Okay. Should it doesn't change your odds. We show them. Feta, ricotta, and mozzarella. These options. Not that. Not that, not that, or that. Oh, no. Yeah, you can show them the options. Okay. Michael Warren said, I always lose until I won. Double D tents loving the new Manix XL. What's up, great person? Said hashtag first time. My left One time. calf is like twitching ever so slightly. Um, let's see. What you looking for? Looking for a pouch. And Precision Knife Works gifted this to Bee's Blades earlier tonight. And we were talking about different color <laughs> colorways and color schemes to go with the Warn Attack. This knife is absolutely fantastic. Love this knife. It loves you, too. It is so good. So good. So good. So good. <laughs> I got you. Bom, 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 bom. I have the feeling that people keep repeating no couch. There's too many people are, are doing it or something. Fancy pantalones. Fancy pantalones. Fancy pantalones. Puppy, would you like to come up here and say hi again? Since you're all about it. Oh, gosh. Since I upped his food intake, I can tell. Andrew Russell got his first hinderer today. How about that, puppy? Hopefully somebody got a screenshot of that. Bees, he gifted you a knife. You have to give him a coin in return. A coin? I need a bees coin. Yeah, he's a chunk, J-Rod. He's, he's, he's just getting all long and lanky. Did you see this one? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sweet Dugan. Kisses for dad. 
puppies. Hey, bees, thanks for the link. Welcome. Link for the new Kaiser. I'm excited. It's my second inter integral, first in G10. Hey, Travis Kurt got the Kaiser Brat. Derek said, I ordered that jet steam, jet stream bees. Like it. Hey, there you go. I can't wait to get mine. Annoyed said, I want a bees patch. Ken Faulkner said, will Bentley be back when Bogart gets too big? <laughs> I need to, I need to bring Maybe. Bentley down. Poor Bentley. Hasn't been on the channel in a little bit. Bogart's been Bo Bogart. Ooh, he's vicious. He's been Bogart all the attention. The boy's getting big. What for you done feed him? Side of beef. Ugh. Say, I'm a cute puppers. Say, I'm so cute. Level one up said, Fetter goes on a pecan apple chicken salad from Wendy's. Oh, Fetter. Feta. Ken Faulkner misses Bentley. I'm going to go grab Bentley because they haven't seen Bentley. Will you keep him on a short leaf? I'll be right back. Bentley was on like two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah, because right. we had the puppy, and you're like, just Oh, yeah, him. Bentley was just here a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I'm just going to turn it this way. Well, if you give me just a moment. He looks like he's smiling at me. Probably because he was. I swear, there's someone down here. I'm coming. Da, 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 da. Oh! I almost rolled over the dog's tail. Oh, oh my. Oh, Oh, oh no. Oh, I would pick him up, but if I pick him up, he's going to see the cat. I mean, he's going to see the cat no matter what. What's the matter? Come here. Puppy chubby. I need to brush the cat. He's going to get excited in two seconds. All right. I, I have cat. Okay. I will. Switch you. Switch me places. <laughs> we're we're playing ring around the ring around the chairs, ladies and gentlemen. Bentley is in the hive, with his eyes wide open. <laughs> oh man, he's. What are you eating? Oh, a kitty. This is Bentley. If you're new to the channel, Bentley is a YouTube star. Ew. Oh, a kitty. You are so gross. Sit. Hey, sit. Oh, a kitty. Sit. Oh, the kitty, kitty, kitty. And this is our big, big kitty cat. Who oh, the kitty? He, yeah, he's a chunk. He's, he's, he's big boned. He's a big kitty. Look at all that fluff. You can just sink your fingers into all that fluff. Oh, the kitty. <laughs> Dr. Bass said, and I thought the puppy was big. Oh, the kitty. Oh, the kitty. Stop it. Oh, the kitty, kitty. Oh, the kitty, kitty. Oh, the kitty. Master Bentley of the House of Bees. Steve Johnson said, say hi to my Aunt Jo, a first time viewer. Hello, Aunt Jo. This is Bentley. We have, oh, you got a fluff of fur. I need to brush him out. He's got it. Ew. The dog will eat it. Did you just... I'm covered in cat fur and dog fur. Jeez. My puppies will be three weeks old tomorrow. They're getting big, baby girl said. Hey. Chonky kitty. <laughs> Fluffy kitty, little ball of fur. I don't know what I did with the lint roller. Lint roller. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was pretty good. I think you took it upstairs because I needed it for my work pants. Um. Yep. I think so too. Come here. Pup got a shed bath. Did not good. Uh, Joe said, "Do they get along?" Uh, the puppy wants to play so bad, and the cat just, just, just not interested. But we love Bentley too. Oh, beautiful kitty. Please put a link for the Remet back up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, Aunt Joe. OMG, the 
the magnificent chonkers so precious knives are me said hi bentley i'm first time viewer hi peoples hello knives are me did you uh, see the puppy too knife man said my my dog baby was put down last friday oh i'm sorry to hear that tropical uh sherrick said any info on the stickers i emailed you about any info on the stickers um I don't know, man. I, I spent the entire day going through doing channel stuff. And at the moment, I, I'm not sure. I can't even remember if you're talking about sticker ideas you sent or I can't remember at the second, man. I Any hated- info on the stickers I emailed you about? Any info? I don't know what you mean. I don't remember seeing an email about stickers. I don't either. I and, him- and every once in a while, I had I had a, one of the winners from last week or the week before for some. Oh, um, missed, missed the puppy. That's why I handed him to you. Uh, here's here is Bogart. Here's the puppy. Um, one of the winners. I need to go get the package upstairs or the book upstairs. One of the winners, their email was in junk mail, but I could still see it. But when I clicked on it, it said unable to open this email. And it had a, it had an attachment. Oh. So the only thing I can figure is the attachment they sent. Gmail must have thought it was something like, suspicious. Oh. But it was a winner. So where's there, the book? I can go grab it. Um, I can't remember if it's the book or the or the package. Well, I'll um, just grab everything I see really. Yeah, that one that. that I had everything written down on. Hi, Andrew. Yeah. So one of the winners. I don't know why it said unable to open this. Like there, I don't know why it was unable to open it. He looks so grumpy. G Rod said the Savivi was too frustrating, so I ditched it. Which one are you talking about? Why are you grumpy? Dwayne K said dogs licking me in the face takes my breath away. Yeah, I don't normally, I don't like or let dogs lick me in the face. Just on the live stream, since he's up here in my face, I allow it. VCR fine said I wouldn't open it. No, I can't open it. It won't even let me open the email itself. Said unable to. But it was it was it was one of the winners. So that's why it was odd. G Rod said Elementum original could not reassemble. Oh man. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Mike. Dogs uh Pitbull was put down this April. Still get teary eyed. 15 years is a long time. Pets are precious. What are you, man? What are you looking at? You're just... All right, we need to do this giveaway. Oh. Why couldn't you reassemble it? Um, watch one of my disassembly videos. Dis- disassembly videos. Okay, you need to dial it in. There we go. Uh, BCR said, if you move it from junk to your inbox, you should be able to open it, but it could be malicious. Well, I mean, just opening an email won't do anything. Attachments can. Aaron B said, pivot screw is keyed on the elementum. Make sure it lines up with the notch on the scales. There's some good advice from Aaron B. Gallant Gallant Maple said, favorite sin cut of 2023 so far. I'm broke, but still enjoy collecting. Uh, favorites, um, let's see, um, uh, Ken Faulkner can tell you the name of one of them. The, has like a heavenly name. Um, this is a really good one. It doesn't have texture on the scales, but this is a, I mean, Sin Cut, they just seriously kick tail. Any Sin Cut you get that that's came out this year is going to be good. Um, the Crawley, a new version, a G10 version of the Crawley. C-R-O-W-L-E-Y came out. This is the Serene. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. This is the Serene. And the price point is just nuts. For, for what you get for a Sin Cut. I mean, you're getting something that has, has Civivi quality. EDC and Lay said, Tropo, yeah, I used to watch that show. Newcastle Ninja said, I'm actually flipping my Serene. The Saxy is... oh. The Saxy is so good. S A C H S E. Saxy. It's so sexy. 
It's dead sack. Sick. Sin cut. Um, they make so many good ones. Dude, you need to dial it in. See, if you don't control yourself, something or someone will control you. That That is just life. And this is the new uh, Slashkin. Has a hollow ground blade. This is the one with the wood scales. Has a forward choil. If you like forward choils, find it. He's, he was wondering where mom was. But this one doesn't have the easiest pass through. Is ah, that what you needed? Yes. Uh, let me see. I think that person's in here. Yeah, Richard Kaufman. Uh, what? You need to resend me an email, bro. Like tonight, if you get a chance. Whatever or however you send it, Gmail wouldn't let me open it. All right, let's give this knife away. I haven't even showed you yet. Um, <laughs> ba -bum -bum -bum. Puppy! Puppy power! Oh, man, the Slashkin looks great, Gallant Maple said. Gallant Maple, Concept Main Street Axis Lock. Oh, yeah, that is a super good one. I haven't got a chance to make that video yet. But the Main Street's what, been one of my favorite working knives for the longest time. I mean, I've carried that mine forever. So many, so many times. Matter of fact, I think it's probably upstairs. Uh, no, it's not. I brought it back down. But anyway, yes, that, that's an absolute win. Ken said, I like wood handle knives like the Aries for Trevisa. He's talking about this one right here. This one looks really good. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Isn't that pretty? What knives coming out soon that you have your eye on? Cuball wants to know. Jeez, I don't even know. I can, I can barely come out. I can barely keep up with the ones that have been released. All right, so uh, this giveaway right now, speaking of cue ball, this was donated by Mr. Cue Ball himself. Now, you're going to get a big swag pack. If, you've nor if you're normally in here, you know the size of the swag pack and all the stickers and keychains and all that stuff. I have hair just like wafting. Um, so you're going to get a cool swag pack. I don't have them together. So you, you know what they look like. Um, a. a. Ron got a wood QSP Hawk and likes it a lot. So this. West Tech said, oh, thanks, bees. I might pick it up tonight. There you go. M uh, Mike Applegate said the Warncliffe blade seems impractical. What are the. Dude, they're, they're used for everything. I mean, think about all of the things you do that you've cut. If you have an upswept blade and you don't have a piercing point, you end up going like this to pierce, to cut through something. Worn cliffs and modified worn cliffs and sheep's foot, especially when you get one that's modified like this so it still has a pierce. But worn, worn cliffs, anything you do, if you're doing anything uh, draw cuts or piercing, opening any package, any package opener. Oh, um, let's see. If you use, say, a knife with a blade like this, if you don't have a very toothy edge on the belly, this isn't necessarily the best package opener because you'll slide on plastic if you don't have a very toothy edge on an upswept blade like that. Whereas something like this, you're going to pierce it. It's going to go. It, you're going to cut right through whatever you're going to cut through. Big Doug said Kaiser Mini October has a great blade. I <laughs> mailed one of those out this week. Okay. So let me pull this up. Present. Shit. This, this was donated by cue ball and i'm gonna leave it in the package so you get the opportunity to open it yourself it's sealed in the package and yeah they're sealed check it out it's a kubi tidius ku 322 and it looks just like this and it's od green how about them apples a kubi tidius you're going to get somebody is lucky person is going to get this bad boy craig bunt sent i want to buy a brat 
have a brat on four Mark, legs. Mark Park said, that's why I love the trees. Trevisa Volans, it's so pointy. Man, if you if you want to look at a whole selection of pointy knives, check out Trevisa. I we showed two of them on the channel tonight. Sean Zalewski said hello all with the 499. Got the honey worn back up. Here, here's the check this out. Here's the SGR from Trevisa. Look at the look at the scales on this. They're um, what is that stuff called? The resin, resin scales. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And it has a blue, it has a, a blue, bluish, greenish, bluish Blades Hook accent. Daniel says, hi kids, just came to send you all a kind hello from Costa Rica. Costa Rica. And you know what? I was waiting for you to say hello because I, I was remembering. I was like, it's Costa Rica. We have Costa Rica in the hive. Travis Kirk said, got the tidiest coming in black titanium from Kubi Direct. Wow, you sneaker. So we're going to draw for an OD green KU322 Kubi Tidiest donated from Q-Ball. Thank you very much, Q-Ball. And look at that. It's still sealed in the package. Oh, um, first. Thank you, Sean Zalewski, for the five doll hairs. And Kevin Kurt gifted one B's Blades membership. Hey. hey oh. And wah, wah, guess wah. who got it? Steven Johnson was gifted the membership hey by oh. Kevin. Kubi doesn't do CPM 154, EDC and Lace said. You need to watch it's it. the poor man's Arius. Yes. This thing is so sweet. It is, it feels so good in the hand because it has a wider or a higher profile. It fills your hand very well. I like it. I like it a lot. This was a gift to me by none other than Q-Ball. So Q-Ball, dude, you, you're the man. I remember when he um, he sent it for me to check out, and I really liked it. And then he gifted it to me, and I was so excited. I got it all dirty and, and was opening dirt bags and mulch bags and stuff. And I took it apart and cleaned it. And, yeah, I was I still love this knife. It has good jimping. It is a fantastic knife. I'll probably never ever own an Arius. So this is this is the poor man's Arius right here. And there's a titanium one out now too. Look at that. It has really good G10 on it. He just ran into Bill the M has the blacked out one. All right. So let me pull this up and see who's oh, Renee Ramon's been a member for five months. He said, missed the last two live streams. Glad to be here today. I love this. I love this knife loving community. Renee Ramon with the five months. Let's see. I'm going to present a page, share my screen. Tomcat in the house. What's up, Tomcat EDC? All right. Let's see who's going to win a bunch of stickers and a prize, a big old prize pack and the tidiest. Are you ready? I'm waiting for StreamYard to catch up because it's just acting slow. Nope. Nope. All right. Take the banner down. Excuse me. Where do you think you're going? My goodness. I don't even know where the page is. Oh, here it is. Ready? Go. Here we go. Let's see who's going to win. And the winner is... GN, congratulations, GN. Hey, GN, send me an email with your screen name there of GN, your login page. Take a screenshot of that so I know it's you and your mailing information. You have 24 hours to email me, beesblades at gmail.com. Beesblades at gmail.com. Email me with your mailing information and I'll get it mailed out to you sometime in the next year. <laughs> congratulations brother um we're gonna do another giveaway give away give away as soon as i get this off the screen what i've what i've started doing is keeping the screen up that way uh stream doesn't act weird congratulations gn 
Hopefully he sees the replay. Hopefully who sees the replay? Mm -hmm. Well, he, he should, he should be in here. I don't know. You did say that oh. chat a while ago. Well, you have to be live. You have to be here. I mean, it hasn't been that long, has it? Like 12 hours ago. Uh, if he doesn't, then we'll give it away again. Richard Coffin said, sent emails from Gmail and my main account. Let me know you get them. Okay, we will. And give me two or three days to respond because the, the, the email has been crazy lately. A lot of companies wanting a lot of things. And I'm like, okay. So Lamando says he's in the chat, but not saying anything. Tropical said next. All right, let me pull up. Let me pull it up. Stream yard. What's everybody doing this weekend? Anybody doing anything fun? GN said, wow, thanks, bees and cue ball. G ball. G ball. Congratulations, man. You are here. There he is. Um, GN, uh, if it if it's over ten dollars shipping, you might need to help me with it. Well, let me know if, if you're out of the United States. Annoyed, he's been a member for three months. He said the Cormorant V1 on Obi has all the V2 features just with the XX. Hollow grind, improved lockup, and scale texture. Plus O points. Great for O addicts. Dude, Obi is starting to kick some butt, getting themselves seen. annoy has been a member for three months. Um, let me put up a hashtag here. Um, um, dum, da, dum, dum. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Don't. What? I thought you were going to yawn. No, I just make a noise. Soul Harvester said working. Working. <laughs> working. Uh, the Punisher said, not sure if it counts as fun, but I'm watching a goofy horror movie from the 1980s called Saturday the 14th. <laughs> it's one of the weirdest movies I've ever watched. You know, that sounds funny. Saturday the 14th. Uh, Rewind said, my oldest turned 16 Sunday. Other than that, yard work. Uh, let's see. Oh, people are telling us, that's right. I asked what you're doing this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, why are people talking about what are people, what doing? What, what? Grilling. Grilling. Renaissance Festival on Sunday. So I'm, I'm working fun. Sunday. Oh, Ren We went to the Renaissance Festival before. Yeah, like 12 years ago. Got a big old ago. turkey leg. We should go this year. I think the last time we went was five years ago. Mark Parks has been a member for, for one, one month. He said, I love what you do. Keep up the good work. Thank you very, very much, Mark. I appreciate it. VCR Fine said the mo moto motto was, if you think Friday the 13th is bad, watch out for Saturday the 14th. Okay. Meow, 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 meow. What are you doing? I don't know. This puppy doesn't know where he wants to be. I'm, I'm going to use some blinker fluid. To take him back upstairs. If he would just lay down in his bed. Blinker fluid alert. I wouldn't read the comments, but they're not really moving. Uh, oh, so there they are. There they are. Somebody said to watch uh, a B movie called Night of the Creeps. Night. I Night of the Creeps. I'm not a scary movie kind of gal. I've I've always thought the scary movies are more like not many scary movies are very scary. All right. Do you I want mean, to show see, him one last I'll, time? We're going to show you the puppy one more time and then he's going to go upstairs. Don't roll back anymore. You'll now that he's being still. He'll hit his tail. Ugh. So here is the pup chup. He likes to walk himself. Here, you want to hold like, your leash? We're not walking. You want to hold your leash? He likes to he likes to hold his own leash. He looks like he's starting to get tired now. Bogey. Bogey boy. You're such a good pup. Yeah, he's he's not feeling as crazy now. Mm, I think he's still crazy. He's trying to eat the little balls on my socks. He's a bogey boy. Bogey. The bogey. He did walk down the stairs on his own. Did he? He did. Hey. So now we'll probably find him in the basement. Oh, the bogart. 
<laughs> the bogey boy. Bogey bogs. Bogey bogs. Bogey bogey. Bogey bogey. Boga choga, boga choga, boga He's wagging choga. his tail. He's wagging his little tail. Okay. You All can right. go upstairs, craziness. Whew, he is quite the handful. Come on. Crazy puppy. Um, they are remarking the toxic toxic avenger with Peter Dinklage. Tropical said, I don't scare. Um I'm I am one of those people that when people like jump out, I'm not a, I'm not super jumpy. Like I'm one of those people if I walk in front of your car and you hit the horn, I just kind of look over like really. <laughs> um, when I was a kid growing up at the farm, I would go out and play in the dark. I would go out in the garage or not the garage. I would go out in the barn, you know, big old, huge old barn, and I would go look for bats. Um, I would walk out into the woods in the dark when I was like, you know, this was back when kids could be kids, you know, back in the eighties, I'd, I'd go out in the back field, looking at deer with a flashlight. Um, I wasn't scared of the dark. I wasn't spooked by stuff. Things that go bump in the night. Christopher Willing said, I keep meaning to check out Autopsy of Jane Doe from the library. Tropical said, I'm a lot like that too, bees. Yeah, I I just... Uh, were you ever like... Were you scared of the dark at, when you were young? Um, Boogie, boogeyman or like didn't... Like I was telling them I would just go wander out in the woods and stuff in the middle of the night and play in the barn in the dark. No, I don't think I was that adventurous, but I also wasn't like terrified of it i mean i sleep with my feet hanging off the bed so <laughs> she's not worried about the boogeyman nope kevin kirk's been a member for 16 months he said the only thing that scares me is when the male lady brings me bills true pedro said as a native night play is a hard no for me no cell phones Josh said, I got an air horn on my truck, bees. Oh, that would probably make me jump. VCR Fine said, we couldn't come back in the house until 10. Yeah, back, back in the 80s is like you you were, you were just, uh, you went out and you played all day long. You had neighborhood friends. You'd go out and do stuff. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Um, what was that? Q-Ball said, G Yans here bees email address. Don't forget to email him your info. Yes. Um, hope everyone is enjoying the puppy barking. Can you hear the puppy? He's got a very loud shrill. Did I ask you the blank keyboard question? Um, I don't remember. Cuball said here to cover, here's to cover some shipping, Mr. Bees. Thank you, Cuball. I appreciate that more than you know. I spent a lot on shipping today. Thank you for the five doll hairs. If someone gave you a blank keyboard, would you be able to find the letter H? Yeah. I, I don't look at the keyboard when I type. Okay. That was, um, I had somebody at work ask me why there was a little bump on the J and the F. He's like, what? What is that for? I said, that's so. The home keys. I said, that's the home keys. He's like, what is that? I was like, so you don't have to look at the keyboard to know your fingers are in the right position. Clearly, it, they never took a typing class. Oh uh, yeah, clearly they never took a typing class. Do you think a typing class is a thing of the old, or do you still think they teach it in school? Well, I think it should still be taught in school because you type much faster if you learn the keys. I, I don't know. The, these days, do do can kids type 100 words a minute, 120 words a minute, or are they slower? Are they faster or slower when they're typing? That's what I want to know. Do they just learn the hard way? Do they still teach typing in school? I would think they sh they should. I bet if you scroll down on your page, someone let's might. see what people say. Hey, Chef Rocky gifted gifted five Bees Blades memberships. Chef Rocky, the Bees Blade Chef. And guess who got him? Pedro Armstrong, Douglas Wagner, Mr. Iconic, Charlie XXL, and the poor man. Hey, poor man, you're now a Bees Blades member. Congratulations, all you, and thank you very much, Mr. Chef Rocky, sir. 
G Rod said they can thumb text very fast. Very true. They just type on their phones. Yeah. Uh, Dwayne K had typing in middle school. Newcastle Ninja said they can probably text faster. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious what, what speed kids are texting at these days. But do they text full sentences with proper punctuation? Or they do like those weird every other letter and it looks like you need right. to decipher to figure out what they're trying to say. James Alton said, I know single finger typing like a beast. Like I'm, I'm a pretty quick typer. I, I don't know, 120 words a minute. I always attribute it. My mom is an extremely fast typer. She used to work for the government and she uh, did a lot of data entry. Uh, my mom is a fast typer and my mom is also a piano player. Auto correct too. Phone does most of the work. That's true. Wayne Smarjik said it's called keyboarding. Dwayne K said, can they spell? <laughs> Good point. Probably not. Newcastle Ninja said, but most of them can't write in cursive. Kevin Kirk said, I have mastered the backspace button, bees. Oh, I hear you on that. Knife Nuts said, typing was a class everyone had to take in high school, but I'm old. I also had to take it. Grim Drake said, I bet many young people cannot spell through other than through. G-Rod said, voice to text. Yeah, voice to text is pretty good, but it also goofs up. You cannot say anything about voice to text because this man over here. Oh, that's why I just said 9. that. 9.5 times out of 10 is voice to texting. And I'm like, dude, we're at a public place. Can you just like type it out like a normal person? It's just so much faster to do voice to text. Yes. Okay. If you're going to start doing voice to text all the time, you're going to also have to read the other person's text because I can't keep up with this one sided conversation. Oh, stuff. I see what you're saying. It's ridiculous. Bees will that glow? Will what glow? Eric says, my problem isn't typing. It's thinking about what I want to type. Um, Dwayne K said, I'd like to have the new green titanium tidius in 14C28N. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Q-Ball said, getting a new computer? Can't wait. Going to be doing some awesome editing and gaming. Ooh, cue ball's getting a new computer. What are you flipping? Uh, this is the Vosti Mayhem. Mm. And all of its mayhemness. My dad texts me voice memos because he can't figure out the phone. <laughs> Top Dog said, gee, we didn't get 300 likes. Come on, you tell me that Everyone in here hasn't hit the thumbs up button yet. How do we find a new one to flick? Uh, Brad said, good looking knife. J-Rod said, can't wait to fidget with that bad boy. Annoyed said, am I bad at front flipping or is it the cormorant hard to front flip? It's my first front flipper. Um, well, if it's your first front flipper, no, you're not bad at front flipping. The cormorant is... Uh, You'll get better at it with time. When I first got the cor the cormorant, I could barely front flip it, but I got better at it. Dwayne K said, "Will the Rafir looking scales knife glow bees?" Oh, I see what you're saying. You're talking about. Sometimes I wonder when people ask a question about a knife that I had up ten minutes ago. I'm wondering if they're just now asking or if they're behind in the chat or behind on the live stream. Mm. Yeah, and it also depends on how the front flippers design. Some front flippers are way easier than others. And I like it when front flippers have small aggressive jimping. The it's a resin, this is a resin handle and I don't think this is going to glow because it's not rafir, it's a resin. I think it looks really cool though. Have cases you're not doing much paper cutting. Buy well, more likes to 300. Hey. I'm not doing much paper cutting. Well, I guess I need to hit more, do more paper. James Alton said, still looks like a bake light. Bake? Alicord said, I missed who won the first drawing. The first drawing was won by... G-N. G-N. Salamando said, I've never been a fan of the Cormorant. Just kind of an ugly looking knife. Yeah, but dude, the blade is where it's at. It's so good. BF. 
V says, I want the Westinghouse, Westinghouse micarta scales. That's her favorite. That's the one you wanted so bad at Blade Show. Mm. Mm. Here's, here's the new uh, drop bear scales. You get you, Mrs. B's likes her drop bear with the LC200N and the titanium. Um, their newest versions are these with the micarta. I think I explained. Do they have these at the Blade Show? Uh, yes, I think so. Didn't I win one? Uh, yes. I did. Is it this one? <coughs> no. I'm trying to think of where the one I won is. I don't know. Uh, VCR Fine says backlight equals old school plastic they use to make phones out of. See, it's Ms. Just Mrs. So B's. Easy. Yeah. See, check. Look at this. Mrs. B's likes it. Check her out. She's flicking and flipping it. Oh, man. I have to scoot over. Hi. I'm Mrs. B's for this is all Mrs. B's. Who don't know. I mean, I just kind of like. Yeah. See, yeah. that's a, that's yeah. a crossbar lock the the thing that you're pulling here yep. is just it goes straight across so when the blade comes up it goes across and, and stops it like this mm -hmm. and when you release it that's what makes the blade fall easy when it comes up it goes underneath it that's just a way for me to show you my arms can you reverse flick it contemplating like decisions oh something else when you when you're going like this yeah if you would like it softer or more more uh springy yeah it's adjustable. I can adjust it. I was just thinking that the drop bear is a little, those are like super smooth for me. A lot easier. Yeah. The titanium one that one's seems a little, a little rough. Stiffer. Yeah. So I can adjust that. I'm, I'm pretty sure the titanium's. All, yeah, it's a clutch lock. So it's adjustable. And here's the new Kaiser sheepdog with the crossbar lock that is adjustable. What is it? This is the sheepdog, mm -hmm. and it has the clutch lock. Mm -hmm. the, the other sheepdogs, there's a button lock sheepdog, a flipper sheepdog, one with only the flipper hole, one with only thumb studs, maybe. This one, you can take the thumb studs off if you want. Mm, that's a nice option. This one is super comfortable. You like all of the sheepdogs, though. Oh, yeah. She, I'm a sheepdog fan. Cue ball said, never will forget that. And Mrs. B's, she was not happy. Oh, yeah. I was very sad. It's Steven said, do that with your clip. arms again, bees. It's got a reversible pocket clip. Oh, yeah. This one's not as comfortable as the other ones for some reason. Kevin Kirk said, please remind everyone that Smoky Mountain Knife Works is doing their 50K giveaway. There are a ton of knives being given away. Here's your knife back. Hi, Rick Atkins. What are you doing? I'm flexing. <laughs> okay. Someone said, do that with your arm, bees. I don't think they were talking about the flexing. Um, Dwayne K said, what's the new scale material Kaiser's coming out with on that on the sheepdog? I don't know. I can't think of it. I don't know. If I've seen it, I don't remember. My thumbs up will never changes from 254, said Sour Harvester. Soul. Harvester. I thought it said sour earlier too. Why did I read it as S-O-U? I don't know. Big Doug said a lot of hoops to jump through on the Smoky giveaway. Clydesdale's on my hit list, said Tomcat. Tay G said my feed keeps on lagging. Omed yeah, Kaiser said me. Altum. Q-Ball said show them muscles, bees. Oh, the aching muscles. Oh. Uh, what do you think about this one? Are there any good movies out right now? Uh... Looking at it, I don't think I'm going to like it because it's too thin. It's very snappy. It's a good snap. Dwayne Casey, remember it's yellow, see-through, almost like honey. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's uh, like a super hard, it's it's uh, very resistant to high temperatures and low temperatures. It's the new, it looks like amber off of a tree. It's see-through. See I, it's very snappy. I'm not a fan of the blade shape. Um, Poly something. Yeah, I looked it up the other day. I watched uh, Kaiser's uh, live stream. So I'm getting ready to do this giveaway, and I forgot I took down this thing. 
So if you didn't know and you just got it, if you've already done it, don't do the hashtag again. This is just for people that didn't put in hashtag crazy puppy. It's called Altum. And then it has another, it has this like 321i or something like that. You heard your elbow flexing so hard? No. <laughs> Happy Friday, Chester. Say his last name. Altum Scales. You know who I haven't seen in, in here in a long, long, long time is Winchester. Ooh. What? Didn't he change his name? Winchester? I thought. No, I saw him on the Kaiser uh, live stream. Oh. All right, let's do this crazy puppy business. How many in the comment picker this time, bees? Uh, we have 200 and some. Eric Lyons said, I saw Blue Ridge Dive just bought existing inventory of Ontario, and they don't know what will happen with the factory and design jet. Wow. Hmm. All right, we're going to pull it up. We've been We've had the banners long enough. Tom Weingart says, saw Winchester a few days ago. Yeah, I saw him on the Kaiser's live stream. All right, let's do this giveaway. Do it. Give oh, I, I guess I should show you what it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> it, there's going to be a, sw a swag pack, as usual. And I'll, I'll uh, make sure you click share, blah, blah, blah. This is a giveaway from Peter Miller himself. Oh, Ken Faulkner with some shipping, honey. Ken Faulkner with the ten dollars hairs. Thank you very much, Ken. Love the shipping, honey. It helps a lot. It helps a lot. Thank you, Ken. You get the Amera hair, my friend. We got the honey flowing up in this hive. So this was this was donated by Peter Miller, and it's a Kaiser. And guess what? This is the nice box. Are you ready for this? So the winner's going to get a beautiful swag pack to be determined. You guys know what the swag packs look like. They're swaggy. They're very swaggy. And this is the fancy Kaiser box, y'all. That's me, all you get, just the box. This is Blade Bladesmith series. You get a, a Kaiser box. And then next week, we'll give away the knife. Just kittens. 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 So this is what the Kaiser, the nice Kaiser box looks like when you open it. Thank you very much, Ken, for the 10 doll hairs. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's in this. And inside the box, you get a Kaiser case. So if you've ever wanted a Kaiser box and a Kaiser pouch, there you go. You doesn't want it. There you go. You know what? They need to have this as a pouch. The little Kaiser thing. Why don't they have, not pouch, uh, what do you call them? Patch. patch. They need to make a little, we need a little, a small square patch too. That size. We just need patches. Cuba ball said, what's in the box? And shout out to Peter Miller. Always sending really cool stuff in for giveaways. Ooh, this is one of my faves. This is the button lock. They can, this is the, a button lock. Kaiser. Gemini. Check that out. This is such a good knife. I like the Gemini. <laughs> Sean McDonald said Kaiser cufflinks. A Kaiser Gemini. And yes, it is a Ray Laconico design. That's I every knife I get from Ray Laconico, I like his knives. I like how they feel in the hand. I like them all. So that's one of my favorite designers, apparently. There's there you go. Wayne K says, OMG, I want one so bad. Yeah, look at that. Steel? Uh, I think the steel is 154. Oh, snap. It has 4V steel. It's a super steel. It's it's no joke. So just kidding. This will not be in the giveaway. Yep, nope. I'm taking it back. <laughs> no, it is 4V steel. Check that out. That 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 ups the ante on this bad boy. I have the feeling this is a uh, an exclusive. Like I think it might be a knife center exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Tropical says, "Yeah, I'll win it. I'm a Gemini." Here is mine. I have a Gemini collection. Mrs. B's has a couple Gemini's herself. 
You can see I've used my 4V. It's definitely, definitely got some use. So there's mine. But you're getting, whoever wins is getting a clean one. Or are they? Or are they? <laughs> Travis said, bees, I never win. And I've held off buying that version. So come on, bees. It's an exclusive. Yeah, it's over $100. This is the good stuff. Eva Lee says, I will win it. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> so th this is going to be a good, good one. Mm -mm -mm. Craig says, hard to find. 4V. Uh, Peter Miller says, correct, it is a Knife Center exclusive. There we go. Yeah, I remember. I, I don't get a lot of things from Knife Center, but when I saw that a button lock uh, Gemini was coming out, I, I sprung for it, and that was, that was a little while back. All right, here we go. This is, uh, people are on edge now that they know it's for a 4V. Your screen's over here. Just to yeah, remind I, I forgot that. how to uh, present a screen. <laughs> Betty Davis says that is the Betty case. Davis wants to win. I want to win. Mrs. B's, did you enter? No. Oh. The knives are for the people. <laughs> did you hear? She said the knives are for the people. The beautiful people. Here we go. Let's see who's going to win this knife. And the winner is... That can't happen. GN's already win. One. Yep. All right. So we have to draw again. Isn't that weird? Okay, here we go. How do I best that? I don't know. Here we go. The winner is Gregory Witt. Hey. Gregory Witt. Congratulations, Sit Gregory. Make sure you send me an email. Email me with a screenshot of your of your channel, uh, you know, of your login screen. Night, Robert Feely. Night, Robert Feely. Congratulations, Gregory. Send me an email with your mailing info. Look at all these knives on the table. Wow, that looks weird. Why? I don't know. Um, let's see. Sarah Louise is in here. What's up, Sarah? It looks striped. It looks striped for some reason. It must be the way the light was hitting light was hitting it up here. How peculiar. That is oh, I, I changed uh, a setting. That is weird. I want to see that. Oh, doesn't look like it this way. So here's all the knives that were on the channel this week, and this is the knife that was so generously donated to the channel by Precision Knife Works. This is the Warn Attack, and when earlier tonight he had three of these left, all blacked out models of the Warn Attack, and I don't know if he has any of those left. You can go to NAF Sale, and that that's where I know at least one of them is. Uh, Scott Webb wants to know what is the blue one. The blue one. Um, this one here it looks blue for some reason. But it's actually a deep purple. It's purple. It, I don't know why it looks blue, but let me show you on the big screen. It's a, it's a blurple. It's more purple than blue. For some reason, it must be the lighting. Boy, that looks blue, doesn't it? It's actually a purple. Gregory Witt says, I just said I want that knife. And my name popped up. Hey, <laughs> congratulations. Congrats on the win. Um. Good night, Rick. This is this is this by these are on super sale right now at Civivi. This is the Civivi Chronic. I like it. It's a, it's a snappy, it's a snappy little knife, and it has a hollow ground blade. <laughs> They're like 30, I don't know, 32 bucks or something. You can stack my 5% code on top of the sale that's going on already. Dwayne K says, bees, please cure my curiosity and see if that resin scale knife will glow after shining a light on it. Ah. I could do that, Dwayne. I have my I have my stars and stripes O light here. We'll put some power to it. Do you just do normal light? Well, if anything's gonna make it glow, this will. We have zero glow. It does not glow. No glow. I'm glad he's had me check though. We've had nines before that. You don't think it's going to, and then you try it, and you're like, what? And here, this kind of illuminate, this will illuminate. Got the dust on it. This will help illuminate what it looks like. 
Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is the Trevisa um, SGR07, I believe. Don says, it's a very pretty purple. After last Friday's show, we bought it for Tasha. She carried it today. Oh, nice. Is it ultraviolet? No, it's not ultraviolet, but... Who says it's no Gemini? No, it's not. It's not like the Gemini. And what they're talking about... Join K said, we had a Rough Rider that did one time. So the Gemini that we gave away just a minute ago, this is the Gemini with Raffir scales. Is that the one that glows? This one glows. Now I'll show you. I got, got my little O-light here. Night, Douglas. I'll go like this. Put some light on it. Put a lot of light on it. Put a lot of light on it. Putting some more light on it. And you can see that it glows. Oh, that's fun. No, well, that, that'll obviously do it just in like daylight too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sun, sun would definitely charge it. Isn't that the coolest? Robert said, question, when did the rules change about being able to win more than once? Back when I first joined, I won three times in one night. Dude, I, I don't remember ever doing that, but it's... I don't think we've ever had someone win three times in one night. No, no one's ever won three times in one night. I don't know, maybe back then, but yeah, there's you can only win once. Dwayne K said, thanks for trying, bees. I could sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, I have a blue light. Um see do, 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 do. yeah i have a i have a ultra oh yeah let me let me use this Vu says i have not won three times in one night i don't know that this blue light charges it any any more than regular light oh maybe i don't know it's pretty pretty charged up night knife collector Night Naf Collector. Salamander says, I have not won three times ever. <laughs> Rick Atkins says, good night, perfect strangers. <laughs> We're not strangers. We're part of the knife community. It's knife family. Omed Kaiser said, let's spread the love, guys. Only one win per night. That's fair in my opinion. Uh, David Tooley said, good night, y'all. My wife's head, my wife heads out on a high stress week of work out of state tomorrow. So we're hitting the sack earlier. Thanks for another great hive stream. <clears throat> James Alton said, I haven't won one in a night. Night, David Tooley. Hopefully your wife's high stress week isn't too high stress. Oh, pepper plants. Annoyed is here in heavy hail. Ken Faulkner said, I've never heard of anyone winning more than once. When there are more than 250 in the giveaway, the chances are astronomical. Yeah, it it's happened, it's happened before. Like usually it's when you get a name that's that's different or unique like that. There's something about StreamYard that does that. Dwayne K said, I won twice on Kaiser Live the other night. 250% coupons back to back, but I DSKFS to someone else. Scott Webb said, I'd be happy with pocket trash. What? Tactical pocket lint. Uh, I'm buying the glow in the dark knife. What's it called? Um, I don't even know if they're available or not. This is the Raffir Scales Kaiser Gemini. And the only place that I thought I Vu fam would know for sure. Um, Kevin Kirk said, I won three knives in one day on three different channels. One of them was Bees Blades. Yeah, it happens in threes. Who won Teji or? GN. GN. And Gregory was here. GN. One. Listen, if I were you, I would go and, and enter on every live stream that's going on because when you're on a streak, you're on a streak. It's just, it happens. You, you go and get on other channels because uh, you're being picked. Steven Johnson says some disc golf, some disc golf discs glow better with ultraviolet. That's why I asked. Ah. Well, I, I've heard people saying they're charging stuff with ultraviolet lights. All right, Mrs. B, you got any, uh, I got to remember tonight to not push the button until I say my, my ending. Well, did we want to do this or just surprise attack? Oh, yeah. G get some opinions. See if they have any ideas. But, and the way I say it on the video is like very like. I don't, I didn't catch that, but okay. 
So y'all wanted a super duper sticker. So I was working on them today at work. I may or may not have got caught by my chief <laughs> and some other guy he was showing around. So I have some options. I'm going to show you guys them and see what y'all think. Rough drafts, obviously. All right. So here's the first one. Nothing spectacular. So there's option one. There's like six options. Sorry. So there's that one. Super duper. There's this one. Just simple, plain, super of the duper. Super duper. And would you rather have a square or a round sticker? <laughs> I'm not real sure what this is. It just kind of happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's that one. Uh, annoyed charges the solar watch with his arc filled. Hey, that's kind of cool. Here's this one. I think the hand looks weird. I don't hate it. A super duper pooper scooper. Here's a little different version of that. Have a good night, coward K. I know you all are so pumped about this. Vu fan said that's me when B's pocket checks. <laughs> Here's this one. <laughs> oh, boy. I think that one's cute. Mrs. Bees is going for cute factor. There's nothing wrong with cute factor. Like this one. It's a two for one. You, Look, the puppy has... Oh, get, our puppy does have a stash. You get grumpy in there with the super duper and a mustache. That's a worried look. Well, you can't really tell. I think this one is my favorite. You get the little schmoobs. Oh, the says, baby Super schmoobs. duper. Super duper pooper. This is a little face. So those are my options. PNW Fun Stuff said, I appreciate all of our community who DSKFS is. Thanks Double, for being awesome. Double D10 says that one. Soul that says one? four and six. Number five, Bogart Stash. The dog one wins. Number two. What's the second one? That's I'm also leaning towards the second one. Is that Tri-State's dog? The last one. Second puppy one is winner for sure. I like that one. He too. said, is that Tri-State's dog? Because the dog the is mustache. skinny in that picture. Oh, that's why. The mustache. I figured it because he looks skinny. Yeah, it's got a stash. So it's like they're all fourth or last. They're all over. There's a lot of twos. That's the second one. I like that one a lot. I do too. Okay. If number two, um, show them two. This is would number you, two. Square or circle? Would you rather I, square or circle? I personally would do square on this one. <laughs> Tri State's dog is a golden retriever. Ah. Square one, circle. Vicky B said, of course, the last one, but also the cat. Uh, so we got a couple have... squares. Ah, we got a couple squares. I had a cat one in here that I was working on. It says, look at it. Which is just look James at Bay, it. James Bay, you've missed the whole live stream, man. So uh, everyone's saying square. Circle gets a square. A rounded square? Square. That one is slick. Everyone likes the, the square one. So here's one I have with a cat. Look at it. Just look at it. There's a kitty cat one. Oh, the kitty. Crazy cat. Oh, the kitty. All right. Rounded square. A ton of people are saying square. Why not both? P&W said uh, triangle. Triangle. Erethane said needs to say bees blade somewhere. The super duper. Yeah. Yeah, there's still works of art. I was. Ha! Brad said look, time. look cat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That is very good. That's real good. Look cat it. That is very good. I definitely need to do something with this guy, though. I really like that one. That yeah. Me. Uh, that one's cute. Octagon. Rhombus. Slightly I... round the edges of the square. Well, if you have a pair of scissors, <laughs> or if you have a knife with a more, if you, you have a worn attack like this, you can cut the edges off very easily. Mm-hmm. I do think this is my favorite dog a rum one, rumbus. Though. The puppy. He's just so cute. I'll have to. A trapezoid. I'll have to use him in a different one, I think. Or that one. 
It don't matter. So definitely people went for the square. The square. What's up, radio? The radio geeks in the hive. What's Hi, happening? Radio geek. Justin Ohio said, good stuff, good show. Thanks, Mr. and Mrs. Mr. And Mrs. B's. Love your channel and content. Patches, Guns, and Knives said, I'm back. Found the credit card. $5 bore scope. Got a big W. Dwayne K said, made 308 likes. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for hitting the likes, the thumbs up button. Yeah. yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh, Mrs. B's, tell them what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, hey, Bees, can we shout out Bedman EDC? Of course. Is that how you be Bedman? Shout out to Bedman B D Mon EDC. Bedman EDC. Three dot hair. I have pancakes. Parallelogram. Ken said parallelogram. They're talking about all the different shapes for the sticker. I yeah, I kind of figured. Um, what are we doing tomorrow? Where are we gonna go? Boop, boop, boop. Oh yeah. Um, we're going blueberry picking. We're gonna go pick blueberries. Yep. I feel like there was something else I wanted to do tomorrow, but I don't remember. Blueberries. Don't remember? I do don't. You remember what you're supposed to do tomorrow? No, I don't. Blueberries. Anywho. Shout out to Bedman EDC. Bedman. Pick Huckleberries. I wanted to name the dog Huckleberry. That got vetoed. Too long. Huckleberry. Huckleberry. Oh, Y'all yeah. are the best. Well, hello. Bedman. You're the best. A puppy sticker. What are you woofing at? <laughs> Having a cookout Sunday. Hey, everybody go over to Bedman EDC and getting to 100 subs. You can do it right now. Hundo. A hundo. A hundo subs. Oh, and look at that. Top Dog dropped the link to make it easy for you. There you go. Birthday party tomorrow, shooting in National Forest on Sunday. Oh, that'll be fun. Shooting like pew pews or like click click shooting? Probably pew pew pew. Okay. Click click was a camera if you didn't know. Have a great night, y'all. You have a great night, too. Target. Target. Oh, I was like, You're, who's going to Target? Mrs. Bees it. likes to go to Target. She likes to go to Target. J-Rod subscribed. Just subscribed. Dwayne K said, once you had fresh huckleberries, you'll never go back to the can. I've never had a can huckleberry, so. I don't think I've ever had huckleberries either. Rhombus, three minutes left. Guess got to go to Mimi's afterwards. Good night, J Rod. Target shooting. Yeah, my brain's a little slow. It is late. Late. Late for a very important date. James Alton said, Bees, thanks for the live entertainment and the knife fun. Be safe. Thank you for hanging out and checking out all the cool new knives and all the, the new Kaisers that dropped and all the cool funness and cool knives. Oh, we didn't even talk about the Tecto knife. The what is it? K3 Charlie? It looks very large. It is. It has a big blade. Delta Lima Charlie. Delta Lima Foxtrot. Mm -hmm. The K3 Charlie. I don't know. It's a comfortable and it has a big, big old, big old blade. This has a Ken Faulkner blade on it. <laughs> Brian F <laughs> says, once you had dingleberries, you'll learn to wipe better. <laughs> <laughs> the dog, dog tried to have a dingleberry today. Oh, man. He the had puppy. Get a dangler. It was like a magic trick. <laughs> PNW is loaded with Huckleberry. So delicious. Night, Robert fans. Good night, Robert. All right. On that note, I'm going to head upstairs. Good night, y'all. I hope you had a good week. Hope you have a good weekend. Hope you have a lovely week next week. And see you Friday. Pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody. It was a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody that donated to help with shipping. That's always very much appreciated. And thank you to everyone that donated channel memberships. And congratulations to the winners tonight. And congratulations, everybody that got a Bees Blades membership. 
You guys are all freaking awesome. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to always be, be up to date and check out, you know, what's going on on the old Bees Blades channel. And a big shout out to Precision Knife Works for the, the awesome Warnatech. This was an amazing, fantastic gift to the channel. It's very much appreciated. Go and check them out. Sell them out. Love you guys. I appreciate you being here. I'm looking forward to next Friday, and it'll come that fast. And we'll be right here back again, hanging out, talking about food and whatever else comes up. Oh, yeah, and knives. So remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And don't cut yourself.